never set up this camera properly. Go up on this guy here. even worse with this fuck still too bright uh, yes we will start soon hey the game atlas Finally got out. <clears throat> mm. Damn good coffee. Um. Set up the stream as usual. <laughs> um, 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 come on, come on, come on. I feel that energy. Okay, uh, export to YouTube. Export. Okay, we were streaming three hours yesterday. Oh, yesterday. And let's eat. Here, fix error to preview on Twitter. Where is the Twitter? Tweet deck. Feedback is cool. What? What good fan? Fame. What city? Okay. Yeah, Atlas, yeah, it's... What is this podcast? reply hello thanks for the info I'll check it out I'm streaming game dev every night from 10 Central European time. Good luck. Keep in touch. Touch. Mm. 
more info about me and my projects at markakuchanski.com good luck thanks for the info check it out I'm streaming I'm streaming game development every night from um, more info about me okay this is more info about me and my projects at good luck <laughs> they, when kids grow up on Fortnite. Filming the kid. Okay, man. So Atlas, yeah, Atlas is is live. We can talk later about it if you want. <coughs> mm. How we will call this stream? We'll see later. We can. It's seven hundred fifty-five fifth stream and called it U4 UI for UI but story U4 UI for for the story so U4 uh, AI sorry AI for the story update information Good to go, good to go. succeed and set up the player find a way for the pi pipeline and there is one character he's praying I don't know for what but for his soul let's say the other things are we need uh, animations for this character I don't want that sound please get rid of it First we need animations, then we need that guy to follow us and then we will tell him go from A to B, let's say. Um, where is him?
Yep. Retargeting. Import cloth. Target to another skeleton. What, 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 what? Wait a minute. Allow all animation assets for this skeleton retarget to another skeleton. Great. Uh, let's say this. Save it. So let's find uh, again this guy and then this guy and then go into his blueprint here select and this is third person animation. Duplicate animation blueprint and retarget so this to this one oh no where the fuck is it hmm <laughs> Do this guy have... Let's find him. Let's find him. Maybe he has... Animations. It's... see and animations are those third person animation blueprint which is the default one and if we just say yeah you see there there isn't uh, many animations I mean those that we need so So, so, <clears throat> this is the guy, and we'll say animations and him. August C. Retarget duplicate to August C. Change the folder. Change the folder. Too much, too much searching. It's 
here it's let's how to find the path Folder is game, no, folder is this one. Folder is zero one. Oh man, well, uh, let's, let's call it zero one animations, please. Or is there? Zero one zero animations zero one. Uh, so our guys here change it to zero one zero. We should rename it to. should be there man <coughs> we should call it zero zero so where are you going for new year's eve that's the question famous one <coughs> every year zero okay move them there retarget oh man this will not work here because something is messed up in the project we need to open other project that's how you end if you messed with some plugins and stuff so i'll just open the project that we're working in for this stuff 
like preparing it for let's listen to where we left off Hero might lose fortune or life. The pause to weigh the consequences makes the commitment to the adventure a real choice in which the hero after this period of hesitation or refusal, is willing to stake her life against the possibility of winning the goal. If we save it... Can we save it to... I want just to play it from the page that we left off. And let's open the project first. that library man they they put it for purpose there there are two libraries we need this player build system and if we reopen that that program which is this one should we should need to can we mark it no okay hero might lose fortune or <sighs> the pause to weigh the consequences makes the commitment to the adventure a real choice in which the hero after this period of hesitation or refusal just is use to stake her life against another. the possibility of winning the goal it also forces the hero to examine the quest carefully and perhaps redefine its objectives. Avoidance it's natural for heroes to first react by trying to dodge the adventure. T. In the Garden of Gethsemane on the eve of the crucifixion, prayed let this cup pass from me. 
he was simply checking to see if there was any way of avoiding the ordeal. Is... Sorry. Even the most heroic of movie heroes will sometimes hesitate, express reluctance, or flatly refuse the call. Rambo, Rocky, and innumerable John Wayne characters turn away from the offered adventure at first. Uh, for refusal is past experience. Let's, let's see. Of past Where is our the folly of such escapades? You won't catch the character into the trouble again. THE protest continues until the hero's refusal is overcome, either by some stronger motivation, such as the death we or need player friend character. Or relative, which raises the stakes or, or by the taste for adventure or sense of honor. Detectives and there others isn't may one. refuse the call at first, referring to experiences which have made them sadder but wiser. There is charm in seeing a hero's reluctance overcome, and the stiffer the refusal, the more an audience enjoys seeing it worn down. Excuses heroes most commonly refuse the call by stating a laundry list of weak excuses. In a transparent attempt to delay facing their inevitable fate, they say they would undertake the adventure, if not for a pressing series of engagements. These are temporary roadblocks, usually overcome by the urgency of the quest. Refusal of the I call need simple, simplest. Persistent refusal of the call can be disastrous. Mm. In the Bible, Lot's wife is turned to a pillar of salt for denying God's call to leave her home in Sodom and never look back. Looking backward, dwelling in the past, and denying reality are forms of refusal. Third person. Continued denial of a high calling is one of the marks of a tragic hero. Character. At the beginning of Red River, Tom Dunson refuses a call to an adventure of the heart and begins a slide into almost certain doom. He continues to Third person calls character. To heart we need and just that. Path of a tragic hero. It's only when he finally accepts the call in Act 3 that he is redeemed and spared the tragic hero's fate. Conflicting calls actually Tom Dunson faces two calls to adventure at once. The call to the heart's adventure comes from his sweetheart, but the one he answers is the call of his male ego, telling him to strike out alone on a macho path. I don't compile Heroes fucking shaders. Conflicting calls from different levels of adventure. THE refusal of the call is a time to articulate the hero's difficult choices. <laughs> Positive refusal's refusal of the call is usually a negative moment in the hero's progress, a dangerous moment in which the adventure might go astray uh, or never get Did you know that I all. didn't watch Matrix? However, there are some special cases Maybe I should start tonight. WHEN the call is a temptation to evil or a summons to disaster, the hero is smart to say no. THE three little pigs wisely refuse uh, to open the door to the big bad wolf's powerful uh, arguments. I need the other project, her. let's see. Here, first person game? No, it's, it should be third person. Despite an third person project, Selena, come on. He refuses the call and saves his own soul. Artist as hero, another special case in which refusal of the call can be positive is that of the artist as hero. We writers, poets, painters, and musicians face difficult, contradictory calls. 109 THE Writer S Journey 3rd Edition We must fully immerse um, ourselves in the world to find the material for there our There will be some difficulty. But we must also at times withdraw from the world, huh. going alone to actually make the art. Like many heroes of story, we receive conflicting calls, one from the outer world, one from our own insides, and we must choose or make First person? To answer a higher call to express mm, ourselves, not we sure. artists may have to refuse the call of what Joseph Campbell terms the blandishments of the world. WHEN you are getting ready to undertake a great adventure, the ordinary world knows somehow and clings to you. It sings its sweetest, most insistent song, like the sirens trying to draw Odysseus and his crew onto the rocks. Countless distractions tempt you off track as you begin to work. Odysseus had to stop up the ears of his men with wax so they wouldn't be lured onto the rocks by the siren's bewitching song. Show me However, the. However, Odysseus first had his men tie him to the OBS. mast. OBS. So I cannot see the OBS. So would be unable to steer the ship into danger. Artists Show. sometimes ride through life like Odysseus lashed to Please, the mast, man. with all senses deeply experiencing the song of life, but also voluntarily bound to the ship of their art. 
they are refusing the powerful call of the world, in order to okay. follow the wider call of artistic expression. Willing heroes while many heroes express fear, reluctance, or refusal at this stage, others don't hesitate or voice any fear. They are willing heroes who have accepted or even sought out the call to adventure. Prop calls them seekers as opposed to victimized heroes. However, the fear and doubt represented by the refusal of the call will find expression it's probably in the stories of willing heroes. Showing okay. Other characters will express the fear, warning the hero and the audience of what may happen on the road ahead. A willing um, hero like John Dunbar from Dances with Wolves may be past the fear of personal death. So yeah, he has problem already sought out death in the first sequence of the movie as he rides suicidally in that front we of have different animations. He seeks out the adventure Our animations the are screwed up here. But the danger and harshness of the prairie I deleted is to the audience them. Uh, the fate of the characters who represent refusal of the call. One is the mad, pathetic army officer who gives Dunbar his scribbled orders. He shows a possible fate for Dunbar. THE This character is going okay. He's following us. And ten Christopher Fogg for refusal of the call insane. The officer has been unable to accept the reality of this world, has and retreated into the and refuses the front delete call him that sound. The, the other character who bears the energy of refusal is the scroungy wagon driver who escorts Dunbar to his deserted post. He expresses nothing but fear so. of the Indians and the prairie, and wants Dunbar to refuse the call, abandon his enterprise, and return to civilization. The driver ends up being brutally killed by the what will happen showing the if audience we export the fate for Dunbar. Though there is no refusal this by the hero here himself, to the this the content, let's try quickly. Just to check, so these are all hacks because something is wrong. Still be tested by powerful figures who raise the banner of fear and doubt, questioning uh, the hero's very worthiness to be in the game. They are threshold guardians. Blocking the heroes before the adventure has even begun. My great. Romancing the stone, Joan Wildgar accepts the call and is totally committed to the adventure okay. for the sake of her sister in Colombia. However, the moment of fear, the way station of refusal, is still elaborately acknowledged okay. in the scene with her agent. Okay, we got it. Wears the fearful mask of a there, guardian. but we also Attack. need a character. Woman. She forcefully underlines the dangers and tries to talk Joan out of going. Like a witch pronouncing a curse, she declares that Joan is not up to the task of being a hero. Joan even agrees okay, with save her, everything. but is now motivated by the danger to her sister. She is committed to the adventure. Though Joan herself does not refuse the call, the fear, doubt, and danger have still been made clear to the audience. Joan's agent demonstrates how a character may switch masks to show aspects of more than one archetype. She appears at first to be a mentor and friend to Joan, an ally in her profession and Charge the phone. But this mentor turns into a fierce threshold guardian, blocking the way into the adventure with stern warnings. She's like an overprotective parent, not allowing the daughter to learn through her own mistakes. PR function at this point is to test the hero's commitment to the adventure. This character serves another important function. She poses a dramatic question uh, to the player audience. Build system, is Joan content. truly heroic enough to face and survive the 3 THE Writer S Journey 3rd Edition Christopher Vogler Ill Adventure? Did this say it's already there. Knowing that the hero will rise to every Let's occasion. see. Let's Such see. Questions create is there suspense for the player? Who watch the hero's progress with uncertainty hanging in the First back of their minds. First person blueprint? No. Refusal of the call often serves to raise such doubts. It's not unusual for a mentor to change masks and perform the Enemy, uh -huh, threshold okay. guardian. Let's see, Some it's there, but the hero it deeper isn't. Into the adventure. Others block the Which hero's call of an adventure society might not approve of an illicit, unwise, or dangerous path. Such a mentor slash threshold guardian becomes a powerful embodiment of society oh, or culture, warning the hero not to go outside the, the accepted fuck? bounds. In Beverly Hills Cop. Eddie Murphy's Detroit police boss stands in his way, orders him off the case, and draws a line which Murphy is not supposed to cross. Of course Murphy does cross the line, immediately. The secret do our heroes inevitably violate limits set by mentors or threshold guardians, 
due to what we might call the law of the secret door. WHEN Bell and Beauty and the Beast is told she Bullets has the run kill of the, the Beast's enemy? household, except for one door which she Why? must never enter. We know that she will be compelled at some point to open that secret door. If Pandora is told she must not open the box, she won't rest until she's had a peek inside. If Psyche is told she must never look upon her lover Cupid, there is everything in the rest house. Let's curiosity. let's fuck this. Really, we need to open rest house. All the secrets. The wizard of Dorothy runs away from home and gets as far as the carnival wagon of Professor Marvel. A wise Sorry, old man don't save. In this open the rest house. At the threshold of a dangerous journey. Oh, we at can open. Point, we cannot hero, open it in. We need to change uh, With a bit of shamanic magic, this place settings. He has team. convinced her to refuse the call for now. To but in effect, Professor Marvel is issuing a higher call to go this home, one team. make peace with her embattled feminine energy, reconnect with M.M.'s love, and deal <coughs> with her feelings rather than run away from them. Refusal of the call although Dorothy turns back for the time being, powerful forces have been set in motion in her life. She finds that the frightful power of the tornado, a symbol of the feelings she has stirred up, has driven her loved ones and allies underground, out of reach. No one can hear her. She is alone except for Toto, her intuition. Like many a hero she finds that once started on a journey, she can never go back to the way things were. Ultimately, refusal is pointless. She has already burned some bridges behind her and must live with the consequences of taking the first step on the road of heroes. Mm. Dorothy takes refuge in the empty house, the common dream symbol for an old personality structure. But the whirling forces of change, which she herself has stirred up, come sweeping towards her and no structure can protect against its awesome power. Let's Refusal see. May be a subtle moment, Any level will help. A word or two of hesitation <coughs> between receiving and accepting Look it. memory here. Often several stages of the journey may be combined in a single And now compare to Though memory. This conflation. Refusal may be here. a single step near the beginning of the journey. Which is 80 or it may gigabytes. Be at every step of the way. Depending on the nature of the hero, refusal of the call what can the be an fuck? opportunity to redirect the focus of the adventure. An adventure taken on a lark or to escape some unpleasant consequence may be nudged into a deeper adventure of the spirit. Why did a shit? hero hesitates at the threshold to experience the fear, to <sighs> let the audience know the formidability of the challenges ahead. But eventually fear is overcome or set aside. Often with the help of wise compiling fucking shaders. magical gifts. Representing the energy of the next stage, meeting with the mentor. 113 THE Rider S Journey 3rd Edition Christopher Vogler 114 Questioning you know THE Journey Y1. How does the hero refuse the call and fatal attraction, pretty woman? A league of no, their own. no, 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 really not the call or reluctance a necessary stage for every story. For so long. For every hero. Two Wati are the heroes of your story afraid of. Quick H are false fears or paranoia. Quick H are real fears. How are they expressed? Three in what ways have they refused calls to adventure? And what are the consequences of refusal? Four if the protagonists are willing heroes. Are there characters or forces that make the and dangers clear for the FPS audience? Game. Five, have you refused calls to adventure? So we need just character mannequin, the, accepted them? the default Six. one, default have project. Have you accepted calls to adventure that you wish you had refused? Stage four, meet in G with H T H E Mento R She, Athena, assumed the appearance of mentor and seemed so like him as to deceive both eye and ear. The Odyssey of Homer Ometimes it's not a bad idea to refuse a call until you've had time to prepare for the zone unknown that lies ahead. In mythology and folklore that preparation might be done with the help of the wise, protective figure of the mentor, whose many services to the hero include protecting, guiding, teaching, testing, training, and providing magical gifts. In his study of Russian folktales, Vladimir Prop calls this character type the donor or provider because its precise function is to supply the hero with something needed on the journey. 
Meeting with the mentor is the stage of the hero's journey in which the hero gains the supplies, knowledge, and confidence needed to overcome fear and commence the adventure. You seekers, now it will compile of shaders, of course. Consult with the elders of the home tribe. But do we have Seek out those third have person before. character? Is the Learn question. Learn the secret lore of watering holes, game trails, and berry patches, and what badlands, quicksand, and monsters to Probably avoid. Probably not. An old BP one, player. too feeble to go out again. Scratches a map for no. us in the dirt. The shaman of the tribe presses something into your hand, a magic gift. A potent talisman no. that will protect this us. This is and guide first person, man. Now we can set out with lighter hearts and greater confidence, for we take with us the collected wisdom of the uh, home tribe. 117 THE Writer as Journey Open Third Edition for Vogler 118 Heroes and Mentors Movie and Stories of All Kinds are constantly elaborating the relationship between the two archetypes of hero and mentor. The Karate Kid films, the Prime Steam Multiplayer. Steam and no. stand and deliver our stories devoted entirely to the process of mentors teaching students. Countless films such as Red River, Ordinary People, Star Wars, and Fried Green Tomatoes reveal the vital force of mentors at key moments in the lives of heroes. Sources of wisdom M even if there is no actual character performing the many functions of the mentor archetype, heroes almost this can always be make done in many ways of wisdom before committing to the adventure. They may seek out the experience of those who have gone before. We're trying to find the, themselves for wisdom the best. Great cost in former adventures. The shortest. Way, they are smart to consult the map of the adventure, looking for the records, charts, and ship's logs of that territory. It's only prudent for wayfarers to stop and check the map before setting out on the challenging, often disorienting, road of heroes. For the storyteller, Meeting with the mentor is a stage rich in potential for conflict, involvement, humor, and tragedy. It's based in an emotional relationship, usually between a hero and a mentor or advisor of some kind, and audiences seem to enjoy relationships in which the wisdom and experience of one generation is passed on to the next. Okay. Everyone has had a relationship with a mentor or role model. Mentors in folklore and MYTH folklore is filled with descriptions of heroes meeting magical protectors who bestow gifts and guide them on the journey. Okay. We read of the elves who help the shoemaker, but the animals who uh -huh, help the protector. Can we add tales, dot? The seven dwarfs who give snow okay. with shelter, or puss in boots, the talking cat who helps his poor master win a kingdom. All are projections of the powerful archetype of the mentor, helping and guiding the mm. hero. Heroes of mythology no. seek the advice and help of the witches, wizards, witch doctors, spirits, and gods of their worlds. The heroes of Mars are guided meeting with the mentor by patron gods and goddesses who give them magical. You take aid. this guy Some heroes are and use by magical beings that are somewhere between gods and men, such as centaurs. Third person. Chiron, a prototype. Many of the Greek heroes were mentored by the centaur Chiron. Use this and and women. those animations which are the fault. Chiron was foster father and trainer to a whole army of Greek heroes, including Hercules, Actaeon, Achilles, Peleus, and Aesculapius, the greatest surgeon of antiquity. Not here. In the person of Chiron, the Greeks stored many of their notions about what it means to be a mentor. As a rule, centaurs are wild and savage creatures. Chiron was an unusually uh, great and peaceful one, first. but he still kept some of his wild horse nature. As a half-man slash half-animal creature, he is Let's linked to the shaman of many cultures who dance in the of animals to, to get in touch with animal power. Zero one, zero Chiron zero. the energy and intuition of wild nature, zero zero teaching. Like the shaman, he is a bridge between humans and the higher powers of nature zero and the universe. One. Mentors and stories often show that they are connected to nature or to some other world of the spirit. Okay, so mentor, find those again. The thresholds of manhood by patty and teaching them the skills of archery, poetry, okay, surgery, duplicate. and so on. He ah, the plugin is not enabled to restart. Chiron beg the gods for the mercy of death, but in the end. After a truly heroic sacrifice in which he rescued Prometheus from the underworld by taking his place, Restart he received saves the like distinction the Greeks could bestow. Zeus made him a constellation and a sign of the zodiac Sagittarius, a centaur firing about, 
Clearly the Greeks had a high regard for teachers and mentors. Mento are himself the term mentor. Probably I need the clean project name, for this, you. but mentor we can do it later when we know the process. With raising his son Telemachus while Odysseus made his long way back from the Trojan War. Mentor has given his name 119 THE Writer S Journey 3rd Edition Christopher Bore to all guides and So Game Atlas, yeah. The goddess of wisdom if we works behind the scenes to bring the energy of the mentor archetype into the story. Go to Twitch. The goddess with the flashing eyes has a big crush on Odysseus and an interest in getting him home safely. She also looks out for his son Telemachus. She finds the son's story stuck in the opening scenes, the ordinary world, of the Odyssey when the household is overrun by arrogant young suitors for his mother's hand. Athena decides to unstick the situation by taking human form. An important function of the mentor archetype is to get the story rolling. First she assumes the appearance of a traveling warrior named Mentz, to issue a stirring challenge to stand up to the suitors and seek his father, call to adventure. Telemachus accepts the challenge but the suitors laugh him off and he is so discouraged he wants to abandon the mission, refusal of the call. Once again the story seems stuck. Retarget, uh, retarget. Telemachus teacher mentor. In this disguise, she drums some courage into him and helps him assemble. Select a skeleton asses to use as a retarget source. It must have the human. Ah, uh, so we need the source. Athena is the foal. And source would be the other one. If she true form, it would probably blast the skin off the bones of the strongest hero. The gods usually speak to us through the filter of other people who are temporarily filled with a godlike spirit. A good teacher or mentor is enthused about learning. The wonderful we need this skeleton. This, be communicated to students or to an this will be the source. The and mentor, along with our word mental, stem from the Greek word for mind, menos. A marvelously flexible word that can mean intention, force, or purpose as Allow well as mind. Allow only mission for this skeleton retarget to another skeleton. Mentors and stories act mainly on the mind of the hero, changing her consciousness or redirecting hmm. her will. Even if physical gifts are given, mentors also strengthen the hero's mind to face an ordeal retarget with confidence. Retarget to another skeleton. Minos also means courage. Avoiding Mento are cliches the audience is extremely familiar with the uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. The behaviors, attitudes, and okay. functions of WISE old women and men are well known from thousands of stories. Save. It's easy to fall into Save. cliches and stereotypes kindly fairy godmothers and white bearded wizards in tall Merlin hats. To combat this in 120 meeting with the now mentor, if keep we your go writing again fresh and surprising by the archetypes. Stand them on their heads, <laughs> turn them inside out. I'm doing this for years and I see what happens. don't know the correct the pipeline. The creates special and interesting conditions for a hero. But be aware of okay. the archetype's existence and the audience's familiarity <coughs> with it. <coughs> Misdirection audiences don't mind being misled about a mentor or any character. We need to time put to time. him up. Real life is full of surprises he, about people who He should be in be the A like pose. The mask of the mentor can be used to trick a hero into entering a life of crime. This is how Fagan enlists but little boys. He is in the A pose. You just put him in the A pose. In the, in the gay pose. Unknowingly working for the villains. In Arabesque, Gregory Peck is tricked into helping the king of spies by a fake modified pose. Old man. You can make the audience think they are seeing a conventional. Uh, kindly, use current pose. Mentor and then reveal that the character is actually something quite different. Use nice. the audience's expectations and uh, so to if we them. now mentor hero conflict okay, the mentor save. hero relationship can take a tragic or deadly turn if the hero is ungrateful or violence prone. Despite the reputation of Hercules as a peerless hero, he has an alarming tendency to do harm to his mentors. In addition to painfully wounding Chiron, Hercules got so frustrated at music lessons that he bashed in the head of his music teacher Lycus with the first lyre ever made. Sometimes a mentor turns Retarget to animation. The movie The Blue Tiger Prince. Sanction shows an apparently benevolent mentor, George Kennedy, who surprisingly turns on his student hero, Clint Eastwood, okay. and tries to kill him. Uh, change Regan, here. In 
is at first a mentor to Sigurd the Dragon Slayer and helpfully reforges his broken sword. But in the long run the helper turns out to be a double crosser. After and the dragon is slain, that's it. Regan plots to kill Sigurd and keep the treasure for himself. That's it. Rumpelstiltskin is initially a Rumpelstiltskin who helps the heroine by making good on her father's boast that she can spin straw into gold. But the price he demands for his gift is So now if we babies. take this character These stories teach us that not 121 THE writer S journey third edition Christopher Vogler 122 all mentors are to be trusted and that it's healthy to question a mentor's What's motives. the problem honey It's one way to distinguish good from bad What's advice. the problem Mentors sometimes disappoint the heroes who have admired them during apprenticeship. I cannot when speak Mr. Smith louder. goes to Washington, Jimmy Stewart learns that his mentor and role model, um, the noble senator played by Claude Rains, is as crooked and cowardly as the rest of Congress. Mentors, I like lost parents, in this may have a hard time one. letting go of their charges. And look at now. An overprotective mentor can lead to a tragic situation. The character of Svengali from the novel Trilby is a chilling portrait of a mentor who becomes so obsessed with his student that he dooms them both. Mentor drive and stories once in a while an entire story from is built around the mentor. Character. Goodbye, Mr. Chips. The novel and film. This will the not story work built like on this, Mr. but... Mr. Chips is the mentor of thousands of boys and the hero of the story, with his own series nope. of mentors. The movie Barbarossa is a wise and funny okay. look at a mentor relationship sustained throughout the story. But it, it its focus is the training of a country boy, Thanks Gary God. Busey, by a legendary western desperado, Willie E. Nelson. The young man's learning is so complete that when the movie ends, he is ready Come to on. take Barbarossa's place as a larger-than-life folk hero. Mento RIS evolved Deep hero mentors breath. can be regarded as heroes who have become experienced enough to teach others. They have been down the road of heroes one or more times, and he they have acquired knowledge and skill which can be passed on. The progression of images in the tarot deck shows how a hero evolves to become a mentor. A hero begins as a fool and at various stages of the adventure rises through ranks of magician, warrior, messenger, conqueror, lover, thief, ruler, hermit, and so on. At last the hero becomes a higher of band, a worker he of miracles, a mentor, and guide us. to others whose experience comes from surviving many rounds of the hero's journey. Meeting with the mentor critical influence most often, uh -huh. teaching, training, Where is player and testing controller? are only transient stages of a hero's progress, part of a larger picture. In many movies and stories the WISE old woman or ma N is a passing influence on the hero. Maybe like but this? But the mentor's brief appearance is critical to get the story past the blockades of doubt and fear. Nope. Mentors may appear only two or three times in a story. Glinda the Good Witch appears only three times in The Wizard of Ounce, I, giving Dorothy the red shoes and a yellow path to follow, two, intervening to blanket the sleep-inducing poppies with pure white uh, snow, and three, granting us. her wish to return home, with the help of the magic red shoes. Truth. In all three cases her function is to get the story unstuck by giving aids, advice, or magical oh. equipment. No. Mentors spring up in amazing variety and frequency because they are so useful to storytellers. They reflect the reality that we all have to learn the lessons of life from someone or Why? something. Whether embodied as a person, a tradition, Simple or a code of ethics, seed pawn, the energy of the archetype is present in almost every story to uh, get things rolling with move gifts, to actor. encouragement, guidance, move or wisdom. To us, man. Who is Erdofa's Dorothy? Are you like many seeing heroes, us? Encounters a Prince series of mentors Prince. of varying shades. She learns something from almost everyone she meets, and all the characters from whom she learns are in a sense mentors. Oh man, Professor Marvel I know is the mentor what it is. Reminds her that she is loved, I always her on her forget it. A term that means far more than a Kansas farmhouse. Dorothy has to learn to feel at home in her own soul. And going back to face her problems is a step in that direction. But the tornado flings her to Ounce, where Dorothy encounters Glinda, the good witch. Start to replay a new buffer? A new land. Glinda what is that? Her with the unfamiliar rules of Ounce, gives her the magic gift of the ruby slippers, and points her on the way of the yellow brick road, the golden road of heroes. She gives Dorothy a positive feminine role model to balance the negativity of the wicked witch. The three Why magical figures that Dorothy meets the along the way, a man of straw, a OBS. man of snake, and a talking lion, are allies.
allies and mentors who teach her lessons about brains, heart, and 123 the writer s journey 3rd edition Christopher Vogler 124 Courage. They are different models of masculine energy that she must incorporate in building her own personality. The wizard himself is a mentor, giving her a new call to adventure, the impossible mission of fetching the witch's broomstick. He challenges Dorothy to face her greatest fear the hostile feminine energy of the witch. The little dog Toto is a mentor, too, in a way. Uh, yeah, we need uh, he is her intuition, navigation. Her into the adventure and back out again. Uh -huh, we the get concept also of the mentor this. archetype has many uses for the writer. In addition to offering a force if that can propel the story forward and supply the hero with necessary motivation or equipment for the journey, mentors can provide humor or deep and he'll simply follow us Such there. Such stories don't need a special character solely dedicated to perform the functions of this archetype, but at some point in almost any story, the mentor functions of helping the hero are performed by some character or force, temporarily wearing the mask of the mentor. WHEN writers get stuck, they may seek the help of mentors just as heroes do. They may consult writing teachers or seek inspiration from the works of great writers. They may delve deep inside nice. themselves to the real sources I of inspiration. I mean, it's not, itself, but well it will be. It works the somehow. Advice may be so simple, free. The Even most there, important thing fine. for me is to set up You've some kind of pipeline. <coughs> Later we can. You. If we make it to look that interesting, that's the 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 hardest thing. We can improve it in the future. I mean, I have better characters in the 4.20, so in the next game it will be better and such. But the, the first thing is to like just just follow what I say. The first threshold. Let's go in it with the mentor questioning the journey one. Double and H put it what is the mentor in favor here? Pretty woman, the silence of the lambs. Two. Think of three long runs. So now TV it should series. be at the ground. Yeah. Are there mentors in these shows? What he functions do these characters serve? Three. Is there a character in your story who is a full-blown mentor? Do other characters wear the mask of the mentor at some point? Or would it benefit the story to develop a mentor character if there is none? Five Wati mentor functions can be Put found or developed in up. your story. Does your hero need a mentor? Six. Does your hero have some inner code of ethics or model of behavior? Does your hero have uh. a and how does it manifest itself? Seven Raiders of the Lost Ark in Indiana it's Jones and the Temple of Doom portray a hero who has no apparent mentor. Movement. He learns things uh, from people along the way, yeah, but there like is this. no special character set aside for that task. The third film in the series, Let's Indiana Jones better. and the Last Crusade, introduces the character of Indy's father, played by yeah. Sean Connery. Now he's on the is ground. He Are all parents mentors? At the ground. Are yours? In your stories, on the ground. what is the attitude of your hero to the mentor energy? 125 mm. Stage 5. Crossing GTA uh, first T threshold D. Just follow the yellow brick road from the Wizard of Oz. What do we need to do? Also, Langley, now to Edgar put Allen it back. Wolfow, the hero stands at the very threshold of the world of our project. The special world of Act Two. The call has been heard. Doubts and fears have been expressed and allayed, and all due preparations have been made. But the real movement, the most critical action of Act One, still remains. Crossing the first threshold is an act of the will in which the hero commits wholeheartedly to the adventure. The ranks of the seekers are thinner now. Some of us have dropped out, but the final few are ready to cross the threshold and truly begin the adventure. The problems of the home tribe are clear to everyone, AI enemy and desperate three something tests. must be done. Now, ready or not, we loaf out of the village Call leaving all things enemy familiar test or As just you let away, me know feel the jerk of the let invisible threads that bind you to your loved ones find this it's difficult to pull away from everything enemy you know, but with test. deep breath you go on taking the plunge into the abyss of the unknown we enter a strange no man's land a world between worlds 
a zone of crossing that may be desolate and lonely, or in places, crowded with life. You sense the presence of other beings, other forces with sharp thorns or claws, guarding the way to the treasure you hmm. seek. But there's no Interesting. turning back now. I want to see, it. to the hear has begun for good or ill. a little bit. LTHE Writer S Journey 3rd Edition Christopher Vogler 128 Approachin GTHE Threshold D Heroes typically don't just accept the advice and gifts of their mentors and then charge into the adventure. Often their final commitment is brought about through some external force which changes the course or intensity of the story. You can change the te team the plot point or turning point of the conventional 3 uh, movie structure. A villain may kill, harm, threaten, or kidnap someone close to the hero, sweeping aside all hesitation. Rough weather may force the sailing of a ship, or the hero may be given a deadline to achieve an assignment. The hero may run out of options or discover that a difficult choice must be made. Some heroes are shanghaied into the adventure or pushed over the brink, with no choice but to commit to the journey. In Thelma and Louise, Louise's impulsive killing of a man who is assaulting Thelma is the action that pushes the women to cross the first threshold into a new world of being on the run from the law. Uh, An example of the externally seconds. imposed event is found in Hitchcock's North by Northwest. Advertising man Roger Thornhill, mistaken for a daring secret agent, has been trying his best to avoid his call to adventure all through the first act. It takes a murder to get him committed to the journey. Amen. Let's see. From where? He's questioning at the UN. No, no. no. Building is killed in... 128, let's see. In front of witnesses in such a way that everyone... Stop. From 128. 128 Approachin GTHE Threshold D Heroes typically don't just accept the advice and gifts of their mentors and then charge into the adventure. <laughs> Uh, Often yeah. their final commitment no. is brought about through some external Just force which changes the course or intensity this of the story. Migrate. This is equivalent to the famous plot point or turning point of the conventional three-act movie structure. A villain may kill, harm, threaten, mm -mm. or kidnap someone close to the hero, sweeping aside all hesitation. Rough weather may force the sailing of a ship, or the hero Show may be given explore. a deadline to achieve an assignment. The hero may run out of options or discover that a difficult choice must be made. Some heroes are shanghaied into the adventure or pushed over the brink, with no choice but to commit to the journey. In Thelma and Louise, Louise's impulsive killing of a man who is assaulting Thelma is the action that pushes the women to cross the first threshold into a new world of being on the run from the law. An example of the externally imposed event is found in Hitchcock's North by Northwest. Advertising man Roger Let's Thornhill. cancel. Uh, we have praying one. We need uh, to to all through the first act. to call it differently. It takes a murder to get him committed to the journey. We'll a call it praying two. Building is killed in front of witnesses in such a way that everyone thinks Roger did it. Now he is truly a man on the run, escaping both from the police and from the enemy agents who will stop at nothing to kill him. The murder is the external event that pushes the story over the first threshold into the special world, where the stakes are higher. Internal events might trigger a threshold crossing as well. Heroes come to decision points where their very souls are at stake, where they must decide do I go on living my life as I always have, or will I risk everything in the effort to grow and change. In ordinary people the deteriorating life of the young hero Conrad gradually wizard, pressures him into making a choice, content, animation despite his fears, animation. to see a therapist and explore no the trauma tool. of his brother's death. Let's see. Often a combination of external events and inner choices will boost the story towards the second act. In Beverly Hills Cop Axel Foley sees a it childhood be friend here. brutally executed yep. by thugs, and is motivated to find the man who hired them but it takes a separate moment of decision for him to overcome resistance and fully commit to the adventure. Here it is. In a brief scene in which his boss warns him off the case, crossing the first threshold you what? see him make the inner choice to ignore the warning what and the enter the special world at any cost. 
Threshold D Guardians As you approach the threshold you are likely to encounter beings who try to block your way. They are called Threshold Guardians, a powerful and useful archetype. They may pop up to block the way and test the hero at any point in a story, but they tend to cluster around the doorways, gates, and narrow passages of threshold crossings. Axel Foley's Detroit Police Captain, who firmly forbids him from getting involved in the investigation of the murder, is one such figure. Threshold Guardians are part of the training of any hero. In Greek myth, the three-headed monster dog Cerberus guards the entrance to the underworld, and many a hero has had to figure out a way past his uh, chops. The problems are the, the same Green names Baron here. Who guides souls across the river Styx is another Threshold Guardian who must be appeased with a gift of a penny. The task for heroes at this point is often to figure out some way around or through these guardians. Often their threat is just an illusion, and the solution is simply to ignore them or to push through them with faith. Other threshold guardians we must be absorbed or their hostile energy must be reflected back onto them. The trick may be to realize that what seems like an obstacle may actually be the means of climbing it's over not the threshold. The first animation, threshold it's guardians who seem to be enemies may be turned into valuable allies. Sometimes the guardians of the first threshold simply need to be acknowledged. They occupy a difficult Third niche and it wouldn't be polite to pass four. through their territory without recognizing their power and their important role of keeping the gate. It's a little like tipping a doorman or paying a ticket taker at but a theater. It's, it's or THE there crossing also. sometimes this step merely signifies we have reached the border of the two worlds. It's we must take the leap of faith into the unknown or else the adventure will never it's really begin. Here. Countess movies illustrate the border between two worlds with the crossing of physical barriers such as doors, gates, what was not? arches, what happened? bridges, deserts, canyons, walls, this cliffs. One hundred and twenty-nine T H E Writer S Journey Third Edition. Hey Christopher man. Christopher Vogler. One hundred and thirty oceans or rivers. In many westerns, thresholds are clearly marked by river or border uh -huh, crossings. Animations. No, 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 it's not Dungadin, posed. The heroes must leap off a high cliff to escape a horde of screaming cult members at the end of Act 1. They are bonded uh, by this leap into the unknown, a threshold crossing signifying their willingness to explore the special world migrate. of Act 2 together. In the olden days of film, the transition between Act 1 and Act 2 was often marked by a brief fade-out, a momentary darkening of the screen which indicated passage of time or movement in space. The fade-out was equivalent to the curtain coming down in the theater so the stagehands can change the set and Why props you to create a new locale or show working, lapse of man. time. Nowadays it's common for editors to cut sharply from Act 1 to Act 2. Nevertheless the audience will still experience a noticeable shift in energy at the threshold crossing. A song, a music cue or a drastic visual contrast may help signal the transition. The pace of the story may pick up. Entering a new terrain or structure may signal the change of worlds. In a league of their own the crossing is the moment the women enter a big league baseball stadium, a marked contrast from the country ball fields where they've been playing. The actual crossing of the threshold may be a single moment, or it may be an extended passage in a story. In Lawrence of Arabia T.E. Lawrence's ordeals in crossing the sun's anvil, a treacherous stretch of desert, are an elaboration of this stage into a substantial sequence. The crossing takes a certain kind of courage from the hero. He is like the fool in the tarot deck, one foot out over a precipice, about to begin free fall into the unknown. THAT special courage is called making the leap of faith. Like jumping out of an airplane, the act is irrevocable. I mean, if I change no something, I will now. mess everything. The leap is made on faith. The trust that uh, somehow will land pros. safely. Rough landing heroes don't always land gently. They may crash in the other world, literally or figuratively. The leap of faith may turn into a crisis of faith as romantic uh, illusions AI about the special pass, world are yes. shattered by first contact with it. Third a person, bruised hero yes. may pick herself up and ask, is Third that all there is? Jump. The passage I need to, to the special world all may the be animations. exhausting, frustrating, or disorienting. Crossing the first threshold 131, no. the wizard of Ounce, a tremendous natural force, rises up no. to hurl Dorothy no. over the first no. threshold. No. She is trying to get home, but the tornado sends her on a detour to a special world where she will learn what home really means. Dorothy's last name, Gale, is a wordplay that links her to the storm. In symbolic language, 
It's her own stirred up emotions that have generated this disturbance. Picture catch animation. Why? The old idea of home, the house, is wrenched up by the tornado and carried to a far off land where a new personality structure can be built. Is it the same as she passes as through here? the transition zone? Dorothy sees familiar sights but in unfamiliar <coughs> circumstances. Cows fly through the air, yeah, it's men row a boat too. through the storm, and Miss Gulch on her bicycle turns into the wicked witch. Dorothy has nothing she can count on now but Toto her instincts. The house comes down with a crash. Ah, beep beep. Dorothy emerges Four to find a world seat? startlingly different from really? Kansas, populated by the little men and women of fairy tales. A mentor appears magically when Glinda floats onto the scene in a transparent bubble. She begins to teach Dorothy about the strange ways of the new land, and points out that the crash of Dorothy's house has killed a bad witch. Dorothy's yeah, yeah, yeah. old personality has been shattered by the uprooting of her old notion of home. Glinda gives a mentor's gifts, the ruby slippers, and new direction for the quest. To get home, Dorothy must first see the wizard, that is, get in touch with her own higher self. Glinda gives a specific path, the yellow brick road, and sends her over another threshold, knowing she will have to make friends, confront foes, and be tested before she can reach her ultimate goal. 2 Copyright S The first threshold is the turning point at which the adventure begins in earnest, at the end of Act 1. According to a corporate metaphor in use at Disney, a story is like an airplane flight, and Act 1 is the process of loading, fueling, taxiing, and rumbling down the runway towards takeoff. The first threshold is the moment the wheels leave the ground and the plane begins to fly. If you've never flown before, it may take a while to adjust to being in the air. We'll describe that process of adjustment in the next phase of the hero's journey, tests, allies, enemies. The Writer S Journey 3rd Edition Christopher Vogler questioning The Journey Y1. What is the first threshold of city slickers? Rain Man? Dances with wolves? How does the audience know we've gone from one world to another? How does the energy of the story feel different? Two is your hero willing to enter the adventure or not? Let's, let's do it How again. How does this affect the threshold crossing? Three are their guardian forces at the threshold and how do they make the hero's leap of faith more difficult? Four, how does the hero deal with threshold guardians? First, what delete. does the hero learn by crossing okay, the threshold? Delete. Five, what have been the thresholds in your own life? How did you experience them? Were you even aware you were crossing a threshold into a special world at the time? Six, by crossing a threshold, what options is a hero giving up? Will these unexplored options come back to haunt the hero oh, later? Let's try it again. 132 stage 6. Tests. Allies. Enemies see. You got three or four good pals. Why then you got yourself a tribe there ain't nothing stronger than that. From Young Guns. Screenplay by John Fusco Ow the hero fully enters the mysterious, exciting special world which Joseph Campbell called a dream landscape of curiously fluid, ambiguous forms where he must survive a succession of trials. It's a new and sometimes frightening experience for the hero. No matter how many schools he has been through, he's a freshman all over again in this new world. We seekers are in shock this new world is so Body different two? from the home we've always known. Not only are the terrain and the local residents different, the rules of this place are strange as they can be. Different things are valued here and we have a lot to learn about the local currency, customs, and language. Strange creatures jump out at you. Think fast. Don't eat that, it could be poison. Exhausted by the journey across the desolate threshold zone, we're running out of time and energy. Remember our people back in the home tribe are counting on us. Enough sightseeing, let's concentrate on the goal. We must go where the food and game and information are to be found. There our skills will be tested, and we'll come one step closer to what we seek. 135 The Writer S Journey 3rd Edition Christopher Vogler 136 Contras T The audience's first impressions of the special world should strike a sharp contrast with the ordinary world. Think of Eddie Murphy's first look at the special world of Beverly Hills Cop which makes such a drastic contrast to his former world of Detroit. Even if the hero remains physically in the same place throughout the story, 
there is movement and change as new emotional territory is explored. A special world, even a figurative one, has a different feel, a different rhythm, different priorities and values, and different rules. In Father of the Bride or Guess Who's Coming to Dinner, uh, while there is no physical threshold, it's definitely a cuff. crossing into a special world with new conditions. WHENA submarine dives, a wagon train leaves St. Louis, or the Starship Enterprise leaves the Earth, the conditions and rules of survival change. Okay. Things are often more dangerous, and the it's price of working. mistakes is higher. Testing the most important function of this period of adjustment to the special world is testing. Storytellers used this phase to test the hero, putting her through a series of trials and challenges that are meant to prepare her for greater ordeals ahead. Joseph Campbell illustrates this stage with the tale of Psyche, who is put through a fairy tale like series of tests before winning back her lost love, Cupid, Eros. This tale has been wisely interpreted by Robert A. Johnson in his book on feminine psychology, She. Psyche is given three seemingly impossible tasks by Cupid's jealous mother Let's Venus and passes the tests with, this with the one help of also. beings to whom she has been kind along Did the way. No. She has made allies. The Just tests to at the beginning of Act 2 are often different obstacles, but character. they don't have the maximum life and death quality of later events. If the adventure were a college learning experience, Act 1 would be a series of entrance exams, and the test stage of Act 2 would be a series of pop quizzes, meant to sharpen Near the hero's fire. in specific areas and prepare her for the Where more rigorous the midterm and there. final exams coming up. THE tests may be a continuation of the mentor's training. Many mentors accompany their heroes this far into the adventure, coaching them for the big rounds ahead. Tests, allies, enemies the tests may also be built into the architecture or landscape of the special world. This world is usually dominated by a villain or shadow who is careful to surround his world with traps, barricades, and checkpoints. It's common for heroes to fall into traps here or trip the shadow's security alarm. Just a second. I How mean the hero deals with these traps is part of the testing. Allies and enemies another oh, function of this stage is the making of allies or enemies. It's natural for heroes just arriving in the special world to spend some time figuring out who can be trusted and relied upon for special services, and who is not to be trusted. This too is a kind of test, examining if the hero is a good judge of character. Allies heroes may walk into the test stage looking for information, but they may walk out with new friends or allies. In Shane, a shaky partnership between the gunfighter Shane, Alan Ladd, and the farmer, Van Heflin, is cemented into a real friendship by the shared ordeal of a saloon-shattering brawl. WHE and John Dunbar in Dances with Wolves crosses the threshold into the special world of the frontier, he gradually makes alliances with Kicking Bear, Graham Greene, and the wolf he names Two Socks. Sidekicks westerns frequently make use of a long-standing bond between a hero and a sidekick, an ally who generally rides with the hero and supports his adventures. The Lone Ranger has Tonto, Zorro has the servant Bernardo, the Cisco Kid has Pancho. These pairings of hero and sidekick can be found throughout myth and literature, Sherlock Holmes and Dr. Watson, Don Quixote and Sancho Panza, Prince Hael and Falstaff, or the Sumerian hero Gilgamesh and his wild companion in Kichu. These close allies of the hero may provide comic relief as well as assistance. Comical sidekicks played by character actors such as Walter Brennan, Gabby Hayes, Fuzzy Knight, and Slim Pickens, provide humor lacking in their stalwart, serious heroes they accompany. Such figures may freely cross the boundaries between 137 THE Writer's Journey 3rd Edition Christopher Vogler 138 Mentor and Trickster, sometimes aiding the hero and acting as his conscience, sometimes comically goofing up or causing mischief. Team S The testing stage may also provide the opportunity for the forging of a team. Many stories feature multiple heroes or a hero backed up by a team of characters with special skills or qualities. The early phases of Act 2 may cover the recruiting of a team, or give an opportunity for the team to make plans and rehearse a difficult operation. The World War II adventure films The Dirty Dozen and The Great Escape show the heroes bonding into a coherent team before tackling the main event of the story. In the testing stage the hero may have to struggle against rivals for control of the group. 
The strengths and flaws of the team members are revealed during testing. In a romance, the testing stage might be the occasion for a first date or for some shared experience that begins to build the relationship, such as the tennis match between Diane Keaton and Woody Allen in Annie Hall enemies heroes can also make bitter enmities at this stage. They may encounter the shadow or his servants. The hero's appearance in the special world may tip the shadow to his arrival and trigger a chain of threatening events. The cantina sequence in Star Wars sets up a conflict with the villain Jabba the Hutt which culminates in the Empire Strikes Back. Enemies include both the villains or antagonists of stories and their underlings. Enemies may perform functions of other archetypes such as the Shadow, the Trickster, the Threshold Guardian, and sometimes the Herald. The rival A special type of enemy is the rival, the hero's competition in love, sports, business, or some other enterprise. The rival is usually not out to kill the hero, but is just trying to defeat him in the competition. In the film The Last of the Mohicans, Major Duncan Hayward is the rival of hero Nathaniel Poe because they both want the same woman, Cora Monroe. The plot of Honeymoon in Vegas revolves around a similar rivalry between the hapless hero, Nicolas Cage, and his gambler opponent, James Kinn. Tests, Allies, Enemies N.E.W. rules The new rules of the special world must be learned quickly by the hero and the audience. As Dorothy enters the land of Ounce, she is bewildered when Glinda the Good asks, Are you a good witch or a bad witch? In Dorothy's ordinary world of Kansas, there are only bad witches, but in the special world of Ounce, witches can also be good, so and fly in pink bubbles instead of on broomsticks. Asset. Another test of the hero is how quickly she can adjust to the new rules of the special world. At this stage a western may impose My certain great, conditions on people too. entering a town or a bar. In Unforgiven, guns cannot be worn in the sheriff's territory. This restriction can draw the hero into conflicts. A hero may enter a bar to discover that the town is totally polarized by two factions, the cattlemen versus the farmers, the herbs vs. the clantons, the bounty hunters versus yeah. the sheriff, bounty so hunters. In the pressure cooker of the saloon, people size each other up and take sides for the coming showdown. The cantina sequence showdown, Star Wars bounty, draws on the showdown. we all have of western saloons as places for showdown. challenges, alliances, and the learning of new rules. Watering holes WHY do so many heroes pass through bars and saloons at this point in the stories? The answer lies in the hunting metaphor of the hero's journey. Upon leaving the ordinary world of village or den, hunters will often head straight for a watering hole to look for game. Predators sometimes follow the muddy tracks left by game who come down to drink. The watering hole is a natural congregating place and a good spot to observe and get information. It's no accident that we call neighborhood saloons and cocktail lounges our local watering holes. The crossing of the first threshold may have been long, lonely, and dry. Bars are natural spots to recuperate, pick up gossip, make friends, and confront enemies. They also allow us what to observe that? people under pressure, when true character is revealed. How Shane handles himself in a bar fight convinces a farmer to become his ally and stand up to the bullying cattlemen. In the tense barroom confrontations in Star Wars, Luke Skywalker sees flashes of Obi-Wan Kenobi's spiritual power and Han Solo's lookout for number one mentality. The bar can be a microcosm of the special world, a place through which everyone must pass, sooner or later, like the saloon in the life and times of Judge Roy Bean. Everybody comes to Rick's, says what? the title of the play on which Casablanca is based. 139 THC Writer S Journey 3rd Edition Christopher Vogler Bars also play host to a number of other activities including music, flirting, and gambling. This stage in a story, whether it takes place in a bar or not, is a good place for a musical sequence that announces the mood of the special world. A nightclub act may allow the introduction of a romantic interest, as in Jessica Rabbit's sensational torch song in Who Framed Roger Rabbit. So Atlas music is not can out. The dualities of the special world as well. At this stage in Casablanca, the polarities are movingly presented in a musical duel between the passionate Marcelli sung by the French patriots and the brutal Deutschland über alles sung by the Nazis. 
in the lonely outposts of adventure saloons, or their equivalent may be the only places for sexual entry. Bars can be the arena for flirting, romance, or prostitution. A hero may strike up a relationship in a bar to get information, and incidentally acquire an ally or a lover. Gambling and saloons go together, and games of chance are a natural feature of the testing stage. Heroes may want to consult the oracles to see how luck will favor them. They want to learn about the wheel of fortune, and how luck can be coaxed their way. Through a game the stakes can be raised or a fortune can be lost. In the Hindu epic the Mahabharata, a cosmic family feud is set in motion by a rigged game of chance between two sets His of arc the early access. The Wizard of Ounce of course not all heroes go to bars at this stage of the journey. Dorothy encounters her tests, allies, and enemies on the yellow brick road. Like Psyche or the heroes of many fairy tales she is wise enough to know that requests for aid on the road should be honored with an open heart. She earns the loyalty of the Scarecrow by getting him unhooked from his post and by helping him learn to walk. Meanwhile she learns that her enemy, the Wicked Witch, shadows her at every turn and waits for the chance to strike. The witch influences some grumpy apple trees to become enemies to Dorothy and the Scarecrow. The Scarecrow proves his worthiness to be on the team by outwitting the trees. He taunts them into throwing apples, which he and Dorothy pick up to eat. Dorothy wins the affection of another ally, the Tin Woodsman, by oiling his joints and listening sympathetically to his sad story of having no heart. The witch appears again, showing her enmity for Dorothy and her allies by hurling a fireball at them. 140 tests, allies, enemies to protect her dog Toto, Dorothy stands up to the blustering of the cowardly lion, a potential enemy or threshold guardian, and ends up making him an ally. The battle lines are clearly drawn. Dorothy has learned the rules of the special world and has passed many tests. Protected by allies and on guard against declared enemies, she is ready to approach the central source of power in the land of Elves. Still compiling the shaders. The phase of tests, allies, and enemies and stories is useful for getting to know you. Scenes where the characters get acquainted with each other and the audience learns more about them. This stage also allows the hero to accumulate power and information in preparation for the next stage, approach to the inmost cave. Questioning THE JURN Y1 What is the testing phase of Sister ACUA League of their own? Uh, what is uh, their science uh, game development? Who is streaming? How Let's does see. your story's special world differ from the ordinary world? How can you increase the contrast? Three. In what ways is your hero tested, and when does she make allies or enemies? Keep in mind there is no right way. The needs of the story may dictate when alliances are made. 4. Are there loner heroes who have no allies? 5. Is your hero a single character or a group such as a platoon, a crew, a family, or a gang? If it is an ensemble piece like the Breakfast Club or the Big Chill, when does the team become a coherent group? 6. How does your hero react to the special world with its strange rules and unfamiliar people? 141. Stage 7. A pro C H T O T H E in most T C A V E cowardly lion. There's only one thing more I'd like you fellows to do. T Come on, scarecrow. What's that? Cowardly lion, talk me out of it. Uh, From yeah. the wizard of ounce arrows, having made the adjustment to the special world, now go on to seek Paid. its heart. The Y pass into an intermediate region between the border and the very center of the hero's journey. On the way they find another mysterious zone with its own threshold guardians, agendas, and tests. This is the approach to the inmost cave, where soon they will encounter supreme wonder and terror. It's time to make final preparations for the central ordeal of the adventure. Heroes at this point are like mountaineers who have raised themselves to a base camp by the labors of testing, and are about to make the final assault on the highest peak. Our band of seekers leads the oasis at the edge of the new world, refreshed and armed with more knowledge about the nature and habits of the game we're hunting. We're ready to press on to the heart of the new world where the greatest treasures are guarded by our greatest fears. Look around at your fellow seekers. We've changed already and new qualities are emerging. Who's the leader now? 
Some yeah, how to improve from A to B. Others who seemed ideal for adventure are turning out to be the least able. A new perception of yourself and others is forming. Based on this new awareness, with behavior you tree, can make plans but without to behavior yourself towards trees. getting what you want from the special world. Soon you will be ready to enter the inmost cave. 143 THE Writer S Journey 3rd Edition Christopher Vogler 144 Function S of Approach in Modern Storytelling <laughs> Certain special functions naturally fall into this zone of approach. As heroes near the gates of a citadel deep within the special world, they may take time to make plans, do reconnaissance on the enemy, reorganize or thin out the group, fortify and arm themselves, and have a last laugh and a final cigarette before going over the top into no man's land. The student studies for the midterm. The hunter stalks the game to its hiding place. Adventurers squeeze in a love scene before tackling the central event of the movie. Courtship pthe approach can be an arena for elaborate courtship rituals. A romance may develop here, <laughs> bonding hero and beloved before they encounter the main ordeal. In North High Northwest, Cary Grant meets a beautiful woman, Eva Marie Saint on a train as he escapes from the police and the enemy spies. He doesn't know she works for the evil spies and has been assigned to lure him into their trap. However, her seduction backfires and she finds herself actually <laughs> falling in love with him. Interesting. Later, thanks to this scene of bonding, she becomes his ally. The bold approach some heroes boldly stride up to the castle door and demand to be let in. Confident, committed heroes will take this approach. Axel Foley in Beverly Hills Cop crashes into the precincts of his enemy a number of times at the approach phase, conning his way past threshold guardians and flaunting his intention when to upset his opponent's world. Cary Grant in Gunga Din marches into the Two inmost cave ago. of his antagonists, a cult of this assassins, good stuff. singing an English drinking song at the top of his lungs. His bold approach is not pure arrogance. He puts on the outrageous show to buy time for his friend Gunga Din to slip away and summon the British army. In true heroic fashion Grant's character is sacrificing himself and tempting death on behalf of the group. The approach of Clint Eastwood's character in Unforgiven is not so much arrogant as ignorant. He rides into the inmost cave of the town during a rainstorm, and is unable to see a sign forbidding firearms. This brings him to an ordeal, a beating by the sheriff. Gene Hackman, that almost kills him. Approach to the inmost cave preparatio nforthe ordeal approach may be a time of further reconnaissance and information gathering, or a time of dressing and arming for an ordeal. Gunfighters check their weapons, bullfighters dress carefully in their suits of lights. The Wizard of Ounce The Wizard of Ounce has such you a well-developed approach to section to that will use it throughout this chapter to eliminate P, some of the functions of this stage. Physics note. Obstacle as having mesh. made some allies what? in the testing stage, Dorothy and friends leave the woods on the border of Ounce and immediately see the glittering emerald city of their dreams. They approach in joy, but before they reach their goal, they face a series of obstacles to make it and challenges to where that will when you them open group, this door, and prepare them for the, the life and AI struggle starts yet to come. Tower the Oreo F illusion as first they are put to sleep by dies. a field of poppies sown by the wicked witch's magic. They are brought back to consciousness by a blanket of snow, courtesy of Glinda the Good. The message for the hero is clear, don't be seduced by illusions and perfumes, stay alert, don't fall asleep on the march. Threshold D Guardian S Dorothy and friends reach the city, only to find their way blocked by a rude sentry, a perfect Threshold Guardian, who looks suspiciously like Professor Marvel from Act 1. He is a satirical figure an exaggerated image mm -hmm. of a bureaucrat whose job is to enforce stupid, mm -hmm. pointless rules. Mm -hmm. Dorothy identifies herself nice. as this the one who good. dropped a house this on the Wicked Witch we'll of the need. East, and she has the ruby slippers to prove it. This wins the respect of the sentry who admits them immediately, saying, well that's a horse of a different color. 145 THE Writer S Journey 3rd Edition Christopher Vogler 146 Message past experience on the journey may be the hero's passport to new lands. Nothing is wasted, and every challenge of the past strengthens and informs us for the present. We win respect for having made it this far. 
The satire of bureaucratic nonsense reminds us that few heroes are exempt from the tolls and rituals of the special world. Heroes must either pay the price of admission or find a way around the obstacles, as Dorothy does. Another special WORLD Dorothy and Company enter the wonderland of the city, where everything is green except for a horse pulling a carriage, the famous horse of a different color who changes hue every time you look at him. The driver also looks like Professor Marvel. Message, you've entered yet another little special world, with different rules and values. You may encounter a series of these like Chinese boxes, one inside the other, a series of shells protecting some central source of power. The multicolored horse is a signal that rapid change is coming. The detail of several characters looking alike, or the same character taking a variety of roles, what? is a reminder we are in it a dream crashed? world ruled by forces really? of comparison, association, and transformation. The protean changes of Professor Marvel suggest that a single it. powerful mind is at work in Ounce, or that Dorothy's <clears throat> dream, if that's what it is, has been deeply we influenced were waiting by his personality. For it for so long Professor and now Marvel it's has crashed? become an animus figure for Dorothy, a focus for her projections about mature male energy. Her father is dead or absent and the male figures around the farm, Uncle Henry, and the three farmhands, are weak. She is seeking an image of what a father can be and projects Professor Marvel's paternal side. energy onto every authority figure she sees. Uh -huh, if the good WITCH Glinda is a surrogate mother or positive anima for her, these variations of Professor Marvel are surrogate fathers. Be prepared Dorothy and friends are primped, pampered, and prepared for their meeting with the wizard, in the beauty parlors and machine shops of the Emerald City. Message, heroes know they are facing a great ordeal, and are wise to make themselves as ready as they'll ever be, like warriors mm -hmm. polishing and sharpening their weapons, or students doing final drills before a big exam. Approach to the inmost cave warning our heroes, feeling pretty good now, go out singing about how the day is laughed away in the merry old land of Ounce. Just then the witch screeches over the city, sky riding from her broomstick, surrender Dorothy. The people back away in terror, leaving our heroes alone outside the wizard's door. Message, it's good for heroes to go into the main event in a state of balance, with confidence tempered uh, by humility and awareness of the danger. Than this no matter how hysterical the celebrations in Ounce, they uh, always seem to be damped like by an appearance one. of the witch, a real party pooper. She is a deep disturbance in Dorothy's psyche which will ruin every pleasurable moment until dealt with decisively. The isolation of the heroes is typical, like Gary Cooper trying to line up support from cowardly townspeople in High Noon, heroes may find good time companions fading away when the going gets tough. Another threshold DR heroes knock at the wizard's door and an even ruder sentry, another ringer for Again, Professor Marvel, we don't have sticks this, his head so out. We will just... His orders are not nobody, not know how is to get in to see the wizard. Only the information that he's dealing with, the witch's Kay. Dorothy, convinces him to go confer uh... with the wizard. While he he's gone, the lion sings if I were king of the forest, expressing his aspirations. Message, the credentials of experience may have to be presented repeatedly at successive rungs of power. Select w mesh. And delayed by obstacles. Enlarge do well this. To get acquainted with their fellow adventurers and learn of their hopes and dreams. Emotional appeal TOA guardian the sentry returns to report that the wizard says, go away. Dorothy and her companions break down and lament. Now they'll never have their wishes met and Dorothy will never get home. The sad story brings floods of tears to the sentry's eyes. And Where is them this? In. Message. Sometimes, mm. when the passport of experience no longer works to get oh. you past a gate, an emotional appeal can break down the defenses of oh threshold man. guardians. Where is this character? Establishing a bond of human feeling may be the key. 147 THE Writer S Journey 3rd Edition Christopher Vogler 148 AN Impossible Tez TR Heroes Cross Yet Another Threshold, Being Ushered Into The Throne Room Of Ounce By The Sentry, Now Their Friend. Ounce Himself Is One Of The Most Terrifying Images Ever Put On Film The Gigantic Head Of An Angry Old Man, Surrounded By Flames And Thunder. He Can Grant Your Wish, But Like The Kings Of Fairy Tales, Is Miserly With His Power. He imposes impossible tests in hopes that you will go away and leave him alone. 
Dorothy and friends are given the apparently unachievable task of fetching the broomstick of the Wicked Witch. Message, it's tempting to think you can just march into foreign territory, take the prize, and leave. The awesome image of Ounce reminds us that heroes are challenging a powerful status quo, which may not share their dreams and goals. That status quo may even live inside them in strong habits or neuroses that must be overcome before facing the main ordeal. Ounce, Professor Marvel in his most powerful and frightening form, is a negative animus figure, the dark side of Dorothy's idea of a father. Dorothy must deal with her confused feelings about male energy before she can confront her deeper feminine nature. The status quo might be a aging generation hey, or ruler, house reluctant to give up power or sale, unwilling big to sale. admit the child is grown. The wizard at this point is like a harassed father, grouchy about being interrupted and having demands put on him by youth. This angry parental force must be appeased or dealt with in some way before the adventure can proceed. We must all pass tests to earn the approval of parental forces. Parents sometimes set impossible conditions on winning their love and acceptance. You can't ever seem to please them. Sometimes the very people you naturally turn to in a crisis will push you away. You may have to face the big moment alone. Shamanic Territor YTHE heroes pass on to the eerie region surrounding the Wicked Witch's castle. Here they encounter more threshold guardians in the witch's creepy servants, the flying monkeys. Dorothy is kidnapped and flown away by the monkeys, and her companions are beaten and scattered. Tin Woodsman is dented and Scarecrow is torn limb from limb. Message, as heroes approach the inmost cave, they should know they are in shaman's territory, on the edge between life and death. The Scarecrow being torn approach to the inmost cave to pieces and scattered by the monkeys recalls the visions and dreams that Get. signal selection as a shaman. Uh, Shamans to be often dream of being dismembered by heavenly spirits and reassembled into the new form of a shaman. What Dorothy is being flown away by the monkeys is just the sort of thing that happens to shamans when they travel to other worlds. Complications the terrorized heroes are discouraged and confused after the monkey attack. Scarecrow's scattered limbs are reassembled by the Tin Woodsman and Cowardly Lion. Heroes Let's may have disheartening uh, setbacks at this stage while approaching the supreme goal. This Such reversals of fortune are called dramatic complications. This guy Though they may seem to tear us apart, they are only a further test of our willingness to proceed. And yet they also to allow us to put ourselves back together in a more effective form for traveling in this unfamiliar we'll terrain. Call it zero Higher stakes Dorothy is now trapped in the castle. The witch, mirroring the action of her look-alike Miss Gulch, crams Toto into a basket and threatens to throw him in the river unless Dorothy turns over the ruby slippers. Duplicate. Dorothy agrees to hand them over but the witch is zapped by Glinda's protective spell when she guy. tries to take the shoes. The witch realizes she'll never get the shoes while Dorothy's alive and sets before her the hourglass with its rushing red sand like dried or blood. From WHE and the last grain runs out, Dorothy will die. Message, another function of the approach stage is to up the stakes and rededicate the team to its mission. The audience may need to be reminded of the ticking clock or the time bomb of the story. The urgency and life and death quality of the issue need to be hmm. underscored. Toto in the basket is a repeated symbol of intuition stifled by the negative anima of the witch slash Miss Gulch. Dorothy's fear of her own intuitive side keeps stuffing away her creativity and confidence, but it keeps Change popping up again, to like Toto. The ruby slippers here. are a deep dream symbol, representing both Dorothy's means Retarget. of getting around an ounce and her identity, her unassailable integrity. Fuck. The shoes 149 THE writer as a journey third edition Christopher different. Vogler 150 are a reassuring mentor's gift. The knowledge that you are a unique being with a core that cannot be shaken by outside events. <coughs> they are like Ariadne's <coughs> thread in the story of Theseus and the Minotaur. First. A connection with a positive, loving anima that gets you through the darkest of labyrinths. But Reorganization Toto do that escapes also from the there. He did in Act 1 and you runs know? out of the castle to join forces can with do the this friends so who are still the together the Scarecrow. Toto leads them to the castle, Fine. where they are daunted at the task of getting the helpless Dorothy out of the forbidding, well-defended place. The responsibility of moving the adventure forward it's has not fallen to Dorothy's it's three this allies. Guy. Hey, hey, this hey. place is so terrible that there's no help here from kindly wizards and witches. 
They have gotten by as clowns, now they must become heroes. Message, Toto again acts as Dorothy's intuition, sensing that it's time to call on if allies and lessons learned to get her out of the trap. Animations? The approach stage is also no. a time to reorganize a group, to promote some members, uh, sort out living, dead, and wounded, assign special missions, and so on. Archetypal masks may need to be changed as characters are made to perform new functions. Mm -hmm. With age her freedom of action okay. removed, Dorothy has switched archetypal masks Understand. here, trading the hero mask for that of the victim, the archetype of helplessness. Uh, no, 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 no. The three companions have also traded masks, being promoted from trickster clowns or allies, to full-fledged heroes who will carry the action him. for a while. The audience may find that assumptions about the characters are being overturned as surprising new qualities emerge under the pressure of approach. But where is the, the sense skeleton? that the heroes must face some things without the help of protective spirits is reminiscent of many mythic tales of trips to the underworld. Human heroes often have to go it alone on a mission from the gods. Retarget. They must travel to the land of the dead where the gods themselves are afraid to walk. We may consult doctors or therapists. Allow all animation facets for this killer to target to another skeleton. There are some places where skeleton. our mentors can't go, and we are on our own. Okay. Heavy defenses, scarecrow, lion, so and tin woodsmen now creep to up to observe the threshold of the inmost cave itself, the drawbridge of the wicked witch's castle. To this one, by huh? a whole approach to the inmost cave army of ferocious-looking threshold guardians, wearing bearskin okay. hats and gloves and growling their grim marching song. Message. Heroes can expect the villain's headquarters to be defended Fuck, with animal-like no. ferocity. The cast itself, I cannot with its do, barred undo. gate and drawbridge like a devouring mouth and tongue, is a symbol of the Fuck. elaborate fortifications around an all-consuming neurosis. <laughs> the defenses around the witch's negative anima make the wizard's guards and palace look inviting by comparison. Uh, WHO is THE hero at THIS point. First person. The three reluctant heroes evaluate the situation. The lion wants to run, but the scarecrow has a plan which requires lion to be the leader. This makes sense since he is the most ferocious looking, but he still wants to be talked out of it. Message, the approach is a good time to recalibrate your team, express misgiving, this is and the give guy. encouragement. Team members make sure all are in agreement this about goals, guy. and determine that the right people and are in the right want jobs. To find his, there may even his. be bitter battles for dominance among the group at this Visor. stage, as pirates or thieves fight for control of the adventure. Visor? However, here the cowardly lion's efforts to escape responsibility are comic, and point up another function of the approach. My visor, eh, man? This may be the last chance to relax what and crack is a joke visor? because things are about to get deadly serious in the supreme ordeal phase. I get into you, our opponent's Mendy, as part of their approach. The three heroes try to cook up a plan as they move closer to the gate. Three sentries attack them, and after a struggle in which costumes fly through the air, our heroes emerge wearing the uniforms and bearskin hats of their enemies. In this disguise, they join the platoon of marching sentries and stride right into the castle. Message. Fuck. Here the heroes employ the device um. of getting into the skin of the threshold guardians before them. Like the plains Indians donning buffalo robes to creep close to their prey, the heroes uh, literally put on the skins of their the opponents wiser. and slip in among them. It's unreal. WHEN in Rome, do as the Romans do. This aspect of the approach teaches that we must get into the mind time. of those who seem to stand in 151 THE Writer S Journey 3rd Edition Christopher Vogler 152 After this we will length. try the same in the or empathize with Unreal. Them, the job of getting past them or absorbing their energy is much easier. We can turn their attacks into opportunities to get into their skin. Heroes may also put on disguises to conceal their real intentions as they get close to the inmost cave of the opponent. Breakthrough the three heroes now discard their disguises and make their way to the chamber of the castle where Dorothy is imprisoned. The Tin Woodsman uses his axe to chop through the door. Message. At some point it may be necessary to use force to break through the final veil to the inmost cave. Um. The hero's own resistance and fear may have to be overcome by a violent act of will. No exit with H. Dorothy rescued, and the foursome united again, they now turn their attention to escape. But they are blocked in all directions by the witch's guards. Message. No matter how heroes try to escape their fate, sooner or later the exits are closed off and the life and death issue must be faced. 
We need the characters. Dorothy and companions trapped like rats. The approach to the inmost cave is complete. The approach encompasses all the final preparations for the supreme ordeal. It often brings heroes to a like stronghold of the opposition, one. a defended center where like every lesson and one. ally of the journey so far comes into play. Like New this perceptions one. are put to the test, and the final obstacles to reaching the heart are overcome, so that the supreme ordeal may begin. Approach to the inmost cave questioning THE JURN Y1 Campbell says that in myths, the crossing of the first threshold is often followed by the hero passing through the belly of the whale. He cites stories from many cultures of heroes being swallowed by giant beasts. In what sense are the heroes in the belly of the whale in the early stages of Act 2 in Thelma and Louise? Fatal Attraction Unforgiven L2 Campbell describes several ideas or actions surrounding the major ordeal of a myth, meeting with the goddess, woman as temptress, atonement with the father. In what ways are these ideas part of approaching the inmost cave? 3. In your own story, what happens between entering the special world and reaching a central crisis in that world? What special preparations lead up to the crisis? 4. Does conflict build? and do the obstacles get more difficult or interesting? 5. Do your heroes want to turn back at this stage, or are they fully committed to the adventure now? 6. In what ways is the hero, in facing external challenges, also encountering inner demons and defenses? 7. Is there a physical inmost cave or headquarters of the villain which the heroes approach? Or is there some emotional equivalent? 153 Stage 8 T.H.E. or D.L. James Bond, what do you expect me to do, Goldfinger? Goldfinger, but where is Bond, this skeleton? I expect you to die. From Coldfinger, Mannequin. and Paul Denow, the hero stands in the deepest chamber of the inmost cave, facing the greatest challenge and the most fearsome opponent yet. This the real heart of the matter, what Joseph Campbell called the ordeal. It is the mainspring of the heroic form and the key to its magic power. Seeker, enter the inmost cave and look for that which will restore life to Third the home person. tribe. The way grows narrow and dark. You must go alone on hands and knees Game and you feel the earth mannequin. press close around you. You can hardly breathe. Find this. Suddenly you come out into the deepest chamber and find yourself face to face with a towering figure, a menacing shadow composed of all your doubts and fears and well armed to defend a treasure. Fear. Animations. In this, this moment, is what is we're the looking chance for. To win all or die. No and matter what you came for, it's death that now stares back at you. Yeah. Whatever the outcome of the battle, you are about to taste death and it will change you. So death select and this one. The simple secret of the ordeal is this. Heroes must uh, die so that they can be reborn. Uh, the dramatic movement skeleton. that audiences enjoy more than any other is death and rebirth. Select it. In some way in every story, Heroes face death or something like it. Their 155 th writer S journey third edition Christopher Vogler greatest fears. So the failure of an enterprise. So like this. The end of a relationship. The death of an old personality. Most of the time, they magically survive this death and are literally or symbolically reborn this to reap the consequences of having cheated death. We screw it up. They have passed the but main it's test of being a hero. Project. Spielberg's E.T. dies before our eyes but is reborn through alien magic and a boy's love. Sir Lancelot, remorseful over having uh, killed a gallant knight, prays him back to life. So Clint Eastwood's character in Unforgiven is beaten senseless safe. by a sadistic sheriff and hovers at the edge of Find death, this one. thinking he's seeing angels. Sherlock Holmes, apparently killed with Professor Moriarty in the plunge over Reichenbach Falls defies death and returns transformed and ready for more adventures. So once again, Patrick we target to another skeleton. Our ghost, only mission is to, to for this skeleton, we target to, to another skeleton. And finally express his true love uh -huh. for her. Change heroes don't just visit death and come home. They return changed, transformed. No one can go through an experience at the edge of death without being changed in some way. In the center of an uh, officer and a gentleman, Richard Gere survives a death Source. and rebirth ordeal of the ego at the hands of drill instructor Lou Gossett. It dramatically changes Gere's character, this only making converts. him more sensitive to the needs of others and no, more conscious we hear that he's part of a group. We need opposite. Axel we need Holt, this. With a villain's gun to his head in Beverly Hills Cop, seems sure to die. 
but is rescued to by the mumbling, naive white this detective guy. Rosewood, to Judge this Reinhold. Guy. After this rescue from death, Foley is more cooperative and willing to submerge Retarget. his gigantic ego okay. in the group. THE CRISIS no THE Clima X The ordeal is a major nerve ganglion of the story. What? Many threads of the hero's history lead in, and many threads of possibility and change lead out the other side. It should not be confused with the climax of the hero's journey that's another nerve center further down near the end of the story, like the brain at the base of a dinosaur's tail. The ordeal is usually okay. the central event of the story, or the main event of the second Bruce act. The assets. Let's call it the crisis to differentiate it from um. the climax, the big moment of act 3 and the crowning event of the whole story. 156 THE ordeal A crisis is defined by Webster's as the point in a story or drama at which hostile forces are in the tensest state of opposition. We also speak of a crisis in an illness, Again. a point, perhaps a high spike of fever, Retarget after which the patient either gets worse or skeleton. begins to recover. The message, sometimes things to have to get one. worse before they can get and better. An ordeal crisis, however frightening to the hero, Show is me. sometimes the only way to recovery or victory. Placement of the ordeal The placement of the crisis or ordeal depends on the needs of the story and the tastes of the storyteller. The most common pattern is for the death and rebirth moment to come near the middle of the story, as shown in the central crisis diagram. Central Crisis ACT IACT 2 AACT HB IACT M Midpoint Ordeal Dramatic High Points in a Story with a Central Crisis this Vertical one. Lines represent the high point of each act Denouement A Central Crisis has the advantage of symmetry and leaves plenty Just of time for elaborate consequences to flow from the ordeal Note that this structure I allows for another critical moment or turning same, point at the end of Act 2 157 THE Writer S Journey 3rd Edition Christopher Vogler ACT IACT 2 ACT M Denouement No Central Ordeal Instead a long build up to end of Act 2 Dramatic high points in a story with a delayed crisis however An equally effective structure can be built with a delayed crisis that comes near the end of Act 2 About 2 thirds to 3 quarters of the way into the story The delayed crisis structure matches closely with the ideal of the golden mean that elegant proportion, approximately I three to five, that hey. seems to produce the most pleasing artistic results. A delayed crisis leaves more room for preparation and approach and allows a slow build up to a big moment at the end of Act 2. Whether the crisis is at the center of the story or near the end of Act 2, is the it's safe character? to say every story needs a crisis moment that conveys the ordeal's sense of death and revival. 158 Delayed Crisis THE Ordeal Points of Tension Act 2 is a long stretch for the writer and the audience, up to an hour in an average feature film. You can look at the three-act structure as a dramatic line stretched across two major points of tension, the act breaks. <coughs> like a circus tent hanging on its poles, structure is subject to gravity the waning of the audience's attention in the time between these peaks of tension. A story that has no central Fuck. moment of tension may sag like a circus tent that needs an extra support pole in the middle. Act 2 is an hour long chunk of your movie, or a hundred pages of your novel. It needs some kind of structure to hold it in tension. The crisis at the halfway point is a watershed, a continental divide I in the hero's journey, up. that acknowledges the traveler uh. has reached the middle of the trip. Journeys naturally arrange themselves let's, around a central event, getting to the top of the mountain, work. the depth of the cave, Copy the heart of the forest, again. the most intimate interior of a foreign country, or the most secret place in your own soul. My great. Everything in the trip has been leading up to this moment, and everything after it will be just going home. There may be even okay. greater adventures to come the final moments of a trip may be the most exciting or memorable but every journey seems to have a center, a bottom or a peak somewhere near the middle the words crisis critic and critical come from a greek word that means to separate a crisis is an event that separates the two halves of the story after crossing oh, this zone is the which is often the borderland of death the hero is literally or metaphorically reborn and nothing will ever be the same whitney's sto sacrifice the reality of a death and rebirth crisis may depend upon point of view a witness is often an important part of this stage Someone standing nearby who sees the hero appear to die, momentarily mourns the death, and is elated when the hero is revived. 
Some of the death and resurrection effects in Star Wars depend on the presence of witnesses, such as the two robot allies, R2-D2 and C-3PO. In an elaborate supreme ordeal sequence, they are listening by intercom to the progress of their heroes, Skywalker and company. The robots are horrified to hear what sounds like the heroes being crushed to death in a giant trash masher deep in the inmost cave of the Death Star. 159 TV writer S. Journey 3rd edition Christopher Vogler These witnesses stand for the audience, who are identifying with the heroes and feeling the pain of death with them. It's not that audiences are sadistic and enjoy seeing their heroes killed. It's that we all relish a little taste of death every now and then. Its bitter flavor makes life taste sweeter. <laughs> Anyone who has survived a true near-death experience, a sudden close call in a car or plane, knows that for a while afterward colors seem sharper, family and friends are more important, and time is more precious. The nearness of death makes life more real. A taste of death people pay good money for a taste of death. Bungee jumping, skydiving, and terrifying amusement park rides give people the jolt that awakens fuller appreciation of life. Adventure films and stories are always popular because they offer a less risky way to experience death and rebirth, through heroes we can identify with. But wait a minute, we left poor Luke Skywalker being crushed to death in the heart, or rather the stomach, of the Death Star. He's in the belly of the whale. The robot witnesses are distraught at hearing what sounds like their master's death. They grieve and the audience grieves with them, tasting death. All of the filmmakers' artful Where technique is, the is dedicated to characters? making the audience think their heroes are being ground to a paste. Third person but then the robots realize that what they thought were screams of death were in fact cries of relief and triumph. The robots okay. managed to shut off I have a bad feeling about this. 160 THE ordeal the trash masher and the heroes have miraculously survived. So we select the the this is important. The Let's write down explosively turns to joy. Find elasticity skeleton. and human emotions. Or it seems what is this? have certain elastic properties, rather like find, basketballs. Find mannequin skeleton. So thrown down hard, they bounce back high. In any story you are trying to lift the audience, raise their awareness heighten their emotions the structure of a story acts like a pump to increase the involvement of the audience i must make a tutorial the for this by alternately lowering so and raising save the hero's this. fortunes find, and with them find the audience's this one. emotions depressing an audience's emotions has the same effect as holding an inflated uh, basketball underwater WHEN the downward pressure is released the ball flies up out of the water Emotions depressed by the presence of death can rebound in an instant to a higher state than ever before. This can become the base on which you build to a still higher level. The ordeal is one of the deepest depressions in a story and therefore leads to one of its highest peaks. In an amusement park ride you are hurled around in darkness or on the edge of space Change until you think you are going to die, to but somehow you come out elated that you have survived. A story without some hint but of this experience is missing its heart. Screenwriters sometimes oh, have a I lot didn't of trouble with the length of act two. But it can maybe seem monotonous, we can try. episodic, or aimless. This may be with because this. they've conceived of it as simply a series of obstacles to the hero's final goal, rather than as a dynamic series of events leading up to and trailing away from a central moment of death and rebirth. Even oh, in the silliest see, comedy see or two. most light-hearted romance, Act Two needs a central life or death crisis. A moment when the hero is experiencing death or maximum danger to the Enterprise. Nope. Hero but appears to die. The long second act of Star Wars is kept from sagging by a central crisis section in which the borders of death are thoroughly skeleton. explored in not one, but a series of ordeals. And At another point in the giant trash compactor sequence, Luke is pulled under the sewage by the tentacle of an unseen monster. It was this scene that really made me understand the mechanism of the ordeal. Sirs. 161 THE Writer S Journey 3rd Edition Christopher Vogler 162 Skeleton First be this The one. audience and the witnesses at hand Han Solo SK Mannequin Leia, The Wookiee See a few bubbles come up A sign that Luke is still struggling Alive And breathing So far So good But then the bubbles stop coming the witnesses begin reacting as if he were dead. In a few seconds you begin to wonder if he's ever coming up. 
You know George Lucas is not going to kill off his hero halfway through the film and yet you begin to entertain the possibility. I remember seeing a preview screening of Star Wars on the Fox lot and being completely taken in by the critical few seconds of this scene. I had invested something of myself skeleton. in Luke Skywalker and when he appeared to be dead, I instantly became a disembodied presence in the screen. I began flitting from surviving character to character, <clears throat> wondering who I could identify with next. Would I ride through the rest of the story as the spoiled Princess Leia, the selfish opportunist Han Solo, or the beast in Wookiee? I didn't feel comfortable in any of their skins. In these few seconds I experienced something like panic. The hero, for me, was truly in the belly of the whale, inaccessible, effectively dead. With H the hero dead, who was I in this movie? What he was my point of view. My emotions, like the basketball held underwater, were depressed. Just then Luke Skywalker explodes to the surface, slimy but alive. He has died to our eyes, but now he lives again, rebirthed by the companions who help him to his feet. At once the audience feels elated. The emotions ride higher for having been brought down so far. Experiences like this are the key to the popularity of the Star Wars movies. They fling heroes and audiences over the brink of death and snatch them Fuck back it. repeatedly. It. It's more than great special effects, funny dialogue, and sex that people are paying for. They love to see heroes cheat death. In fact they love to cheat death themselves. Identifying with a hero who bounces back from death is bungee jumping in dramatic form. Hero Witness S. Death Star Wars has not given us enough of a taste of death yet. Before the ordeal section is over, Luke witnesses the physical death of his mentor, Obi-Wan, in a laser duel with the villain Darth Vader. Luke is devastated and feels the death as keenly as if it were his own. But in this mythical world, the borders of life and death are deliberately fuzzy. Obi-Wan's body vanishes, raising the possibility he may survive somewhere to return when needed, like King Arthur and Merlin. The ordeal to a shaman like Obi-Wan, death is a familiar threshold that can be crossed back and forth with relative ease. Obi-Wan lives within Luke and the audience through his teachings. Despite physical death he is able to give Luke crucial advice at later points in the story, trust the force, Luke. Hero causes death the hero doesn't have to die for the moment of death to have its effect. The hero may be a witness to death or the cause of death. In Body Heat the central event, William Hurt's ordeal, is murdering Kathleen Turner's husband and disposing of his body. But it's a death for Hurt too, deep in his soul. His innocence has died, a victim of his own lust. Facing the shadow by far the most common kind of ordeal is some sort of battle or confrontation with an opposing force. It could be a deadly enemy villain, antagonist, opponent, or even a force of nature. An idea that comes close to encompassing all these possibilities is the archetype of the shadow. A villain may be an external character, but in a deeper sense what all these words stand for is the negative possibilities of the hero himself. In other words, the hero's greatest opponent is his own shadow. As with all the archetypes, there are negative and positive manifestations of the shadow. A dark side is needed sometimes to polarize a hero or a system, to give the hero some resistance to push against. Resistance can be your greatest source of strength. Ironically, what seem to be villains fighting for our death may turn out to What's be forces ultimately working for our good. Demonization generally the shadow represents the hero's fears and unlikable, rejected qualities, all the things we don't like about ourselves and try to project onto other people. This form of projection is called demonizing. People in emotional crisis will sometimes project all their problems in a certain area onto another person or group who become the symbol of everything they hate and fear in themselves. In war and propaganda, the enemy becomes an inhuman devil, the dark shadow of the righteous, angelic image we are trying to maintain for ourselves the, problem, the, the devil himself is god's shadow a projection what? of ah, all the negative and rejected potential of the supreme one. being 
It's close kin to the apron strings that bind even adult children to their mother's invisible wires but with greater tensile strength than steel. Ariadne's thread is an elastic band that connects a hero with loved ones. A hero may venture far out into madness or death, but is usually pulled back by such bonds. My mother tells me she had a medical emergency when I was a child that almost killed her. Her spirit left her body and flew around the room, feeling free and ready to leave, and only the sight of my sisters and me snapped her back into life. Here. She had a reason to go on living, <coughs> to take care of us. The old English word for a ball of thread is a clue. That's where we get our word clue. We get the problem. A clue is a thread that a seeker traces back to a center, looking it's for answers the same for order. The skeins of thread oh, that connect fuck. one part to another may be the vital clue that solves a mystery or resolves a conflict. Crisis of the heart The ordeal can be a crisis of the heart. In a story of romance it might be the moment of greatest intimacy, something we all desire and yet fear. Perhaps what's dying here is a hero's defensiveness. In another story it might be a dark moment in the romance when the hero experiences betrayal or the apparent death of the relationship. Joseph Campbell describes what we might call the romantic branches of the ordeal in two chapters of the hero with a thousand faces called meeting with the goddess and woman as temptress. As he says, okay. the ultimate adventure what? is commonly represented as a mystical marriage, the crisis at the nadir, the zenith, or at the uttermost edge of the earth at the central point of the cosmos, in the cosmos, in the tabernacle of the temple, or within the darkness of the deepest chamber of the heart. In stories of love, the crisis may be either a love scene or a separation from a loved one. Crisis, remember, comes from a Greek word meaning to separate. In romancing the stone the crisis is both a physical ordeal and a separation of loved ones. Joan Wilde R. and her shape-shifting companion Jack Colton enter a literal inmost cave where they take possession of the giant emerald, El Corazon. But that's much too easy and a few moments later they go through a real supreme ordeal as the ordeal their car plunges over a waterfall and they dive out. Joan Wilde R. disappears under the water for several shots. The audience sees Jack Colton struggle ashore, and for scant seconds we are left wondering if Joan has died. Those few seconds are sufficient for the magic of the supreme ordeal to work. And it was Joan so easy. Appears, struggling onto a rock in the foreground. That she has died and been reborn is clearly acknowledged in the dialogue. On the opposite bank, Colton cries out, I thought you drowned. Joan acknowledges, I did. Colton is elated by their physical survival, but now the focus so of the crisis is the for God. Joan shifts to the emotional plane. The untrustworthy Colton is on the opposite side of the raging river with the jewel. A real test of their love is coming. Will he keep his promise to meet her in the next town, or will he simply run away with El Corazon and break her heart? Will she be able to survive in the jungle of the special world without him? Sacred no, marriage just... stories with emotional and psychological depth, the ordeal may bring a moment of mystic marriage within a person, a balancing of opposing inner forces. It... The fear and death aspect of the ordeal may haunt the wedding, what if this doesn't work out? What if the part of myself take, I am take, walking take, to the take, altar take, with take, turns take. and overwhelms me? Uh, but despite these fears, heroes may acknowledge the their hidden qualities, animations? even their shadows, and join with them animations, in a sacred marriage. One or heroes are ultimately seeking a confrontation with their anima, nope, their soul, or the unrecognized feminine or intuitive part of their personality. Women may be seeking the animus, the masculine powers of reason and assertion that society has told them to hide. They may be trying to get back in touch with a creative drive or a maternal energy they've rejected. In a moment of crisis, a hero may get in touch with all sides of her personality as her many selves are called forth and masse to deal with her life and death issues. Balance in a sacred marriage both sides of the personality are acknowledged to be of equal value. Such a hero in touch with all the tools of being a human, is in a state of balance, centered, and not easily dislodged or upset. Campbell says the sacred 167 the writer s journey 3rd edition Christopher Vogler 168 marriage represents the hero's total mastery of life, a balanced marriage between the hero and life itself.
Therefore the ordeal may be a crisis in which the hero is joined with the repressed feminine or masculine side in a sacred marriage. Why? But there may also be a sacred breakup. Open, deadly war may be declared by the dueling male and female sides. The love that kills Campbell touches on this destructive conflict in the woman as temptress. The title is perhaps misleading as with the meeting with the goddess, the energy of this moment could be male or female. This ordeal possibility takes the hero to a junction of betrayal, abandonment, or disappointment. It's a crisis of faith in the arena of love. Every archetype has both a bright, positive side and a dark, negative side. The dark side of love is the mask of hate, recrimination, outrage, and rejection. This is the face of Medea as she kills her own children, the mask of Medusa herself, ringed with poison snakes of blame and guilt. A crisis may come when a shape-shifting lover suddenly shows another side, leaving the hero feeling bitterly betrayed and dead to the idea of love. This is a favorite Hitchcock device. After a tender it has animation, it Northwest, has everything. Cary Grant's character is betrayed Why to the spies by Eva Marie Saint. Grant goes into his mid-movie ordeal feeling abandoned by her. The possibility of true love that she represented now seems dead, and it makes his ordeal, in which he's almost gunned down by a crop dusting plane in a cornfield, all the more lonely. Negative animu so our entma sometimes in the journey of our lives we confront negative projections of the anima or animus. This can be a person who attracts us but isn't good for us, or a bitchy or bastardly part of ourselves that it suddenly skeleton? asserts itself like Mr. Hyde taking over from Dr. Jekyll. Such a confrontation can be a life-threatening ordeal in a relationship or in a person's development. The hero of fatal attraction finds that a casual lover can turn into a lethal force if crossed or rejected. An ideal partner can turn into the Boston Strangler or a loving father can become a killer as in The Shining. The ordeal the wicked stepmothers and queens of the Grimm's fairy tales were, in the original versions, mothers whose love turned deadly. Going Psycho One of the most disturbing and subversive uses of the supreme ordeal is in Alfred Hitchcock's Psycho. The audience is made to identify and sympathize with Marion, Janet Leigh, even though she is an embezzler on the run. Through the first half of Act Two, there is no one else to identify with except the drippy innkeeper. Norman Fuck. Bates, Anthony Perkins, and no audience wants to identify with him, he's weird. In a conventional film, the hero always survives the ordeal and lives to see the villain defeated in the climax. It's unimaginable that a star like Janet Leigh, an immortal heroine of the screen, will be sacrificed at the midpoint. But Hitchcock does the unthinkable and kills our hero halfway through the story. Oh, this, this is, is mad. This ordeal that is final skeleton. for the hero. No reprieve. No resurrection, no curtain call for Marion. The effect is shattering. You get that odd feeling of being a disembodied ghost, floating around the frame as you watch Marion's blood pour down the no, drain. No, 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 no. WHO to identify with. WHO to be. Soon it's clear, Hitchcock is giving you no one to identify with but Norman. Reluctantly we enter Norman's mind, see the story through his eyes and even begin to root for him as our new hero. At first we're supposed to think Norman is covering up for his insane mother, but later we discover Norman himself was the killer. We have been walking around in the skin of a psycho. Only a master like Hitchcock can pull off such a defiance of the rules about heroes, death, and ordeals. Facing the greatest fear the ordeal can be defined as the moment the hero faces his greatest fear. For most people this is death. But in many stories it's just whatever the hero is most afraid of, facing up to a phobia, challenging a rival, or roughing out a storm or a political crisis. Indiana Jones inevitably must come face to face with what he fears most snakes. Of the many fears faced by heroes, the greatest dramatic power seems to come from the fear of standing up to a parent or authority figure. The family scene is the core of most serious drama and a confrontation with a parent figure can provide a strong ordeal. 169 The Writer mm. S Journey 3rd Edition Christopher Vogler 170 Standing Up T.O.A. Parent in Red River Montgomery mm. Cliff's mm. character, Matthew Garth, faces this fear halfway through the story when he tries to take away control of a cattle drive from his foster father, Tom Dunson, John Wayne, 
who has become a formidable shadow. Dunson started the story as hero and mentor, but traded those masks for that of a tyrant in the approach phase. He's turned into a demented god, wounded, drunk, and cruel, an abusive father to his men, carrying duty too far. WHEN Matt challenges his mentor and role model, he is facing his greatest fear in an ordeal. Dunson decrees he will play God and hang men who broke the laws of his little world. Matt stands up to him at the risk of being shot himself. Dunson, the Lord Death rising from his throne, draws to kill him, but Matt's allies, earned in the testing phase, step in and blow the gun out of Dunson's hand. Matt's power as a hero is now such that he doesn't need to lift a finger against his opponent. His will alone is strong enough to defeat death. In effect he dethrones Dunson and becomes king of the cattle Fuck drive it. himself, leaving because his foster another, father with nothing but a horse skeleton. and a canteen. In stories like this, facing the greatest fear is depicted as youth standing up to the older generation. Yout H vs SH The challenging of the older generation by the younger is a timeless drama, and the supreme ordeal of standing up to a forbidding parent is as old as Adam and Eve, Oedipus, or King Lear. This ageless conflict provides much of the power of playwriting. The play on Golden Pond deals with a daughter's frantic effort to please her father, and its ordeals are the daughter standing up to the father, and the father experiencing his own mortality. This generational drama is sometimes played out on a world stage. The Chinese dissident students who took over Tiananmen Square and blocked the tanks with their bodies were challenging the status quo imposed by their parents and grandparents. Fairy tale struggles with wolves and witches may be ways of expressing conflicts with parents. The witches are the dark aspect of the mother. Finally. The wolves, ogres, or it's giants working. the dark aspect of the father. Dragons and other monsters can be the shadow side of a parent or a generation that has held on too long. Campbell spoke the ordeal of the dragon as a western symbol of a tyrant who has held fast to a kingdom or a family until all the life has been squeezed out of it. The conflict between youth and age can be expressed internally <laughs> as well as in external battles between children and parents. I want to do something different when players see the character. An old, I want to punch it, well punch him. Structure and a new one that is weak, unformed, but eager to be born. But the new uh, self can't be born until the old one dies or at least steps aside to leave more room on the I center want, stage. Uh, component hit on component beginning. For a healing of deep on component a weak. A Campbell calls this possibility atonement with the father. Sometimes a hero, by surviving an ordeal or by daring to challenge the authority of a parental figure, will win the parents' approval and the seeming conflicts between them will be resolved. Cast the death of the ego, the ordeal of myth signifies the death of the ego. Cast the hero is guy. now fully part of the cosmos, dead to the old, limited vision of things and reborn into a new consciousness of connections. The old boundaries of the self have been transcended or annihilated. In some sense the hero has become a god with the divine ability to soar above the normal limits of death and see the broader view of the connectedness of all things. The Greeks called this a moment of apotheosis. A step up from then, enthusiasm where you merely see. have the god in you. In a state no of apotheosis object. you are the god. Tasting Maybe death lets object. you sit in god's chair for a while. Or hit the hero let's facing see. an ordeal has moved her center from the ego to the self. I to don't the know more if it's a punch, but... There may also be a movement from self to group as a hero accepts more responsibility than just looking out for herself. A hero risks individual life for the sake of the larger collective life and wins the right to I be called hero. Punch. The Wizard of Ounce Dorothy and friends, trapped by the Wicked Witch and her Threshold Guardian army, now face their supreme ordeal. The witch is enraged no. at them for having penetrated her inmost 171 The Writer S Journey 3rd Edition Christopher Vogler Cave okay. Anna stolen her greatest treasure, the Ruby Slippers. She descends on the foursome and threatens to kill them one by one. Saving Dorothy until last. The Update the text about the ghost he had to clear. display whether the running the lead it's going to be a battle between or forces of light and death. Or not. Okay. The witch begins with the scarecrow. She lights her broomstick and uses it as a torch to set him on fire. His straw blazes up and it looks like all is lost. Every child in the audience believes the scarecrow is doomed and feels the horror of death with him. 
Dorothy operates on instinct and does the only thing she can think of to save her friend. She grabs up a bucket of water and uh. splashes it all over the scarecrow. It puts out the fire, but it also wets down the witch. Dorothy had no intention of killing the witch, Play didn't animation even realize water punch. would make her melt, but has killed her just the same. <coughs> Death was in the room, and Dorothy merely deflected it onto another victim. But the witch does not just go poop mm -hmm. and disappear. Her death is protracted, agonizing, punk. and pathetic. Oh, my Play beautiful animation. What a world, what a world. By the time it's over you feel sorry for the witch, and have had a real taste of Play death. Animation. Our heroes have gone face to face with death and can walk animation away to tell about it. After punk. a moment of being stunned, they are elated. Where is they it? go on to reap the consequences of defying Here. death in the next step, reward, or seizing the sword. 172 THE ordeal question in GTHE Jern Y1. What he is the ordeal in the silence of the lamp, this the one. prince of tides, pretty woman, too. What he is the ordeal in your story. Does your story truly have a villain? Or is there simply an antagonist? 3. In what way is the villain or antagonist the hero's shadow? 4. Is the villain's power channeled through partners or underlings? What he special so functions do these parts hit. perform? 5. Can the villain also be a shapeshifter or trickster? What he other archetypes might a villain manifest? Yeah. 6. In what way does your hero face death in the ordeal? What he is your hero's greatest fear? 173 stage 9 reward D we came we saw we kicked its ass from Ghostbusters screenplay by Dan Aykroyd and Harold Ramis if the crisis of the ordeal passed heroes now experience the consequences of surviving death with age the dragon that dwelled in the inmost cave slain or vanquished they seize the sword of victory and lay claim to their reward triumph may be fleeting but for now they savor its pleasures we seekers look at one another with <laughs> growing smiles. I We've won the right to be called punching. heroes. For the sake of the home tribe we faced death, tasted it, yes, he, and yet he's lived. Me. From the depths of terror we suddenly <laughs> shoot up to victory. It's time Let's to fill our empty bellies and raise two. our voices around the campfire to sing of our deeds. Old wounds and grievances are forgotten. The story of our journey is already being woven. You pull apart from the rest, strangely quiet in the leaping shadows you remember those who didn't make it and you notice something you are different you've changed part of you has died and something new has been born you and the world will never seem the same this too is part of the yeah, reward we need for facing death control, so. 175 the writer s journey third edition christopher vogler encountering death is a big event and Punch it will surely one. have consequences we need to there will almost two. always be some period of time in which hmm. the hero is recognized or rewarded for having survived death or a great ordeal. A great many possibilities are generated by living through a crisis, and reward, the aftermath Only of the ordeal, one. has many shapes and purposes. Uh, Celebration WHE and hunters have survived death and brought down their game, it's natural to want to celebrate. Energy has been exhausted in the struggle, and needs to be mm, replenished. What a pity. Heroes may have the equivalent of a party or barbecue at this stage in which they cook and consume some of the fruits of victory. The heroes of the Odyssey always offered a sacrifice and had a meal to give thanks and celebrate after surviving some ordeal at sea. Strength is needed for the return to the upper world, so time is given for rest, recuperation, and refueling. After Looping. the buffalo hunt, a supreme ordeal and brush with death, in Dances with Wolves, Dunbar, and the tribe celebrate with a buffalo barbecue in which his reward for saving a young man from death is greater acceptance by the Lakota. Campfire scenes yep. Many stories seem to That's have campfire it, type scenes in this region, where the hero oh, and companions gather I around a fire want. or its equivalent to review the recent events. It's also an opportunity Let's for jokes all. and boasting. There is understandable relief at having survived <coughs> death. Hunters and fishermen, pilots and navigators, soldiers and explorers all like to exaggerate their accomplishments. At the barbecue and dances with wolves, Dunbar is forced to retell the story of the buffalo hunt many times. Collisions. There may be conflict over the campfire, fighting over spoils. Dunbar gets into an argument over his hat, 
which has been picked up by a Sioux warrior after Dunbar dropped it during the buffalo hunt. A campfire scene may also be a chance for reminiscence or nostalgia. Having crossed the abyss of life and death, nothing will ever be the same. Heroes sometimes turn hey, 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 hey. what got them to this point. A loner hero might recall the events or people who influenced him or speak about the unwritten code by which he runs his life. Simply demo BB. 176 reward these scenes serve important functions for the audience. They allow us to catch our what breath after an exciting what's battle that or ordeal. Devil the characters might recap the mean. story so far, giving us a chance to review Is the story and get a glimpse of how they perceive in it. Peace? In Red River, Matthew Garth reviews the plot for a newcomer to the story, Tess, Joanne Drew, in a campfire scene. I he hope his feelings about he's his coming in peace, the, the devil. On the complex, hey, I'm just building some fighting uh, punching system. I have troubles better. with characters, creating the game, all the wizard. And this is the second level, so I want to improve it with... Uh, with if some, with some uh, uh, fighting, uh, melee animations. Together. I mean, Disney's classic there. Features such as Pinocchio or Peter Pan. Oh, it's your remote. Nice, but nice. Disney was careful to slow them down from time to time and get in close on the characters in an emotional moment. That's good. These quieter or more lyric passages what are, are you important for making a connection with the audience. Are you love scenes the aftermath of a supreme ordeal developing? may be an opportunity for a love scene. Heroes don't really become heroes until the crisis. Devil baby, until then nice, they are just trainees. Nice. They don't really deserve to be loved That's until good. they have shown their willingness to sacrifice. At this point, a true <coughs> hero has won the love scene, or a sacred marriage of some kind. What are you? The Red River campfire scene described above is also a highly effective love scene. Nice. Arabesque, Congratulations. Having survived an Just watching together, your your love scene. your channel there. She is a bewildering shapeshifter who has told him a string of lies, but he has seen through to her essential core Just of goodness to, to and know now you trusts better. her. The romantic waltz in Beauty and the Beast is the Beast's reward for having survived an ordeal. With what the are you playing? And Belle's reward for having seen past the Beast's monstrous appearance. Oh, you're developing. Taking possession, one of the essential nice. aspects of this step. What are you using for developing? Whatever she came seeking. Are Treasure real hunters or take the gold. Spies snatch the secret. Pirates 177 THE Writer S Journey 3rd Edition Christopher Vogler plunder the captured ship. An uncertain hero seizes her self-respect. A slave I seizes should, control uh, of his own uh, destiny. Stop this, um, A transaction has been made. The hero has risked uh, death or sacrificed this life. Reading. Now gets something in exchange. This is some book. The Norse god Odin. In his uh, supreme let's just copy 177 page that we know where we stopped you don't play anymore y you use it uh-huh you four in blender what 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 just happened oh man thank you so much Thank you so much, man. Okay, new... F uh, I want to... Uh-huh, okay. I give you a follow, man. Peace. Peace. Thank you so much. For the support. Yeah. you using u4 what are you intentions what are you developing uh where am i where is Okay, the image is there, but I 
and quality is only in hmm what the pity open world hack and slash nice sounds interesting but there will be a lot of work yeah i want to put some and i'm interested to know why are you not playing anymore are games not interested so much for you music louder collision When traced by channel, this information will be used for filtering. I don't want to say this fuck I screw it up now I don't know how it was previously it was at custom ah okay when he hit me uh, you see he, he he got into me probably it's my It's my problem of um, my character. I mean, the main one. Maybe it's this. Where is collision? I don't want to see through you, man. decided to make a game uh -huh, uh -huh, I understand I wish you all the best and good luck but it's really 
stuff. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No originality, exactly. Making money. Yeah. Yeah, the story is, is important. And that's what I'm trying to achieve, but it's more than hard. I don't want to overlap here. And how can we decrease our health? Do we have any health? This is uh, my second game, so in the first one there were some systems but now I need to move them over oh yeah I understand now you love playing games just believe companies no all believe in yeah but it's uh, maybe generalizing because of course they need money but there are companies that doing a good job like Japan studio you know with the Bloodborne and and uh, the the uh, Crytek cry engine with with uh, hunt showdown and maybe star citizen and there are some yeah I think there are some, but it's really rare. You're right in some, in some points, yeah. Get random spawn. Server multicast. Server kill player. Suicide. Light move, right? Game input. Swim mode. Physics handle. No, I'm working alone. <coughs> so when there is a punch, we can start to decrease the player's health like here. here what mesh we're talking about can we use it here let's see but we will not do it tonight we'll probably I went too far with this I just want some peasants to be walking around so no team, no budget, no team yet. the first one it's team like early access still and it is hard yeah 
initial act printed printed there Person character, sorry, sorry, sorry. We need to cast here. Yeah, health actor. And to print something. Hmm. Yeah, every day for about four years. I mean, uh, usually every day. I I taking uh, one or two days off. But if you see, I got for like four years. I got YouTube channel there, mm, and at my site in modeling. That's. Okay, but you will you will need some I think maybe I mean you can go far from it but if you are making it alone I don't know maybe to fix something and so there are, there are live streams from 2000 15 16 17 not sure for one two three and yeah fourth year and there are like playlists for every more than 200 videos in 2015 you tried unity you need to learn all aspects of the game development yeah that that would be that would be nice i mean that could help you 200 89 videos so one view this is like when I started May 20 It is long time for me Why it's not giving me that I want to kill player when, when this guy steps in Okay, we see that held down. Yeah. And if, if, if it's a less Let's just take a switch node. Switch node name 
branch which is branch I'm forgetting things here modeling uh, thank you I mean I'm not I was I was uh, practicing a lot I can show you what I came up to if you if you watch if you watch my my uh, show reel I mean I, I invest in, in it uh, time and money and I get Autodesk uh, Autodesk uh, certificates my certificates for for modeling and but this is this is Houdini this is something else but wanted to show you some I'm basically movie director that's what I finish Academy for but switch to this because of yeah my movies and this is something from ZBrush uh, not this one yeah like this is Houdini like those hats for modeling it's okay Maya and hard surface modeling is okay but it's yeah I wanted this anatomy class but it's important to yeah to learn anatomy for like uh, I mean uh, this is they're bad things it's it's not uh, looking good but uh, I was learning that way also like with with that head modeling like for some figures And of course, hard surface, 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 and stuff. But yeah, there are many aspects. But really, for game development, you don't need it. People are made a lot of money without that. You start from the skill and what you think you have or you're the best in so we can should take a branch and condition boolean to let's exit or or print something print you die you died You died? Can we say you died? Maya, Maya for sure. I never use Blender, but you know, if you can. I was learning that and I started a little bit with 3D Max uh, it was 16 years ago and then switched to Maya and never looked back I learned also Houdini and ZBrush and uh, condition would be if health is get less than set if it's less or Is 
it float? If it lasts, then one or two. Let's put two. Uh -huh, you have died. You're dead. Yeah. It's better. You died. Mm -hmm. But how's this in, in, in Dark Souls? There is you died. Yeah, I mean, it just sounds like that. I mean, I was, but how this in, in, in Dark Souls, they say you died. You died, it's not here. I'm from Serbia and you can we say you died Yeah, let's try it. Yeah. <coughs> yeah, I would like that. <coughs> oh, you're from Australia. Nice. I didn't saw somebody here from, or I don't know that somebody was here from Australia. So far away, really. <laughs> I can say it. <laughs> okay, you're right. It's in the games that we're making, we can say whatever we want. Yeah, let's stop the game when, when player reach this. Audio, stop animation. Or pause the game. can say anything actually as the end the game uh-huh yeah yeah but uh, like we'll see yeah how this is just uh, just for testing wow it's
it's minus se seven immediately. So uh, the the default one should be really high. It should be like ten or or hundred. Okay. You have fallen to your doom. Haha. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I you or you lost your soul or something. I will see. So it's 19, it's but why it's not keep or it's keep hitting me? Okay, and we died. Nice. Nice. And just one thing to 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 check here. To pits of hell. <laughs> nice. Thank you. On here, noise. Yeah. And here noise, we can do all of that on here noise. Yeah, but um, I would like to change it. I just didn't find the right. It's not punching. It's not punching. I think you cannot distinguish which sounds are from game but because of the music but he's not punching Yeah, I wanted to to do that, but didn't succeed. Not sure why. Maybe with the mesh collisions. I must solve it later. I did. I went too far with this. I just wanted few peasants. 
I really need to start because this is more of a puzzle adventure game. I just give it 200 or health like 200. don't have weapon here we'll need to run from him okay we are faster the other guy has got the weapon but we can probably let's let's see if we pick our other player Mixamo for that. Mixamo is really good Adobe tool. Uh, if we use this third person character. He will not beat us but maybe just don't crash please he will not beat us but oh we can beat him no but never mind We can fight with other players. Like if we take now, hmm, let's just go here. Just go here and try to change them. Duplicate them. Change. Like praying with. Yeah. Oh, there will be a problem. It's <laughs> yeah. Let's move this. Oh, fuck. I, I got too far as I said I need to fix this all if we 
just we cannot undo but we can delete this and duplicate the other one again and try to change with some other character Example, but I need to retarget animations. ABP, no, no, yeah, need to retarget. this model frame one and connect it with VP4 and then just yeah 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 exactly I should finish this level and go with go with another stuff I went too far I just want to put them to walk around that's what I wanted now they're following me but if we say let's say for this character when they hear us pawn sensing Sensing on C pawn. Uh, uh, let's see. Or event begin play. Just go to location. Go to location. Go to. Something like that, go to or what is in AI here? Move to location, not go move to location or simple move to location or move to location or move to actor even. simple move to location let's try it this is the location and if we just promote variable location zero one compile and Paste location and say move there. When he see me. Hey, you're, you're back or I'm back? Okay. Uh, which 
character is walking here. <clears throat> oh, you need to refresh, yeah. Yeah, there are some problems. Maybe I should back to lower streaming settings, I don't know. Am I freezing? Just to see frame drops. Oh, there are. No, okay. I don't know, it's not work for me, I'm freezing for me here. Yeah, if I put to low latency, it will be really... Simple move to actor. Mm -hmm. And we can say move to this actor. this location aha controller and it moved to the location okay You see, and now after that, we can say it moved to this location. Yeah, I got Discord, you can find it at the link below, it should be under the stream, or I can share it. Maybe it's there is. Yeah. The link should be live, uh, working, I don't know. Invite invalid, oh fuck. Need to set it up again. Here is the working one. 
but let's change it to stream elements I will check it now. How to change the comments user management? Custom comments. Okay, I want to to make one. Just a second, sorry. stupid now uh, stream elements change command not new I want to change your response 
should be this one. Needed to add Discord one. I'm so Discord one. Okay, it's working now. Let's check it out. <clears throat> you can also subscribe if you want to support me to YouTube. That's that's uh, what I I like the most. Okay. Uh, let's finish this. So yeah, after this, he should go up there copy and save say just duplicate location and change it here paste it actually paste this one So there will be delay. Wait two two seconds. Controller. This is the first location. And this is the second one. Okay. Delay. 
seconds and then move on. Why it's not? Okay, it's go there, waiting two seconds. Go, man. Go, go, go. Why are you... Maybe delay, yeah. Maybe. He's going there. No, it's not delay. Let's enlarge this uh, volume. Uh, what's the name of the volume? It's oh man. nav mesh volume. Target delay. How do you mean? Okay, now there is a delay. Try. I mean, we will do it differently. This is just. No, it stops. It stops because it's it, it finish. It uh, what we ask him to do. So after that, first to go to this location yeah but I didn't link it he's running without delay and look he's running at the same point okay he will run here he should run here first this this one but he's running there why what's the problem Target equals character. Yeah, should definitely do it differently. Two actors, 
Nope. No, he's coming to location, not to the actor. We should do it through example three. Uh, behavior tree. Not like this, but this is just for testing. Again. So it's going to here when it's it stopped and it should. So do once multiple input. Let's see what we have, but we will put delay here and delay should be like four seconds or such. Set in after this uh, area blueprint. Did you duplicate the actor at any point? No. Have you blueprint out at the same time? That's one blueprint, you mean those? One after another. Yeah, it is working, but it stops from some reason. And I'm really tired to mess with it. I don't have... Fuck you, why are you stopping? You should be reset it here. Let's change locations. Now it will go, it should go this one and then but it is going to the same location get actor location no it's using that's because of sensing and it's using this yeah that's because that's because I didn't compile it Break, try to wrap up the 
things comment this and say fix it a lot of mess but we will be fixing just throwing things in and then we will clean up the things and that's all we can do get actor location we can even do do that but not to get you mean to set get vector location then to set set actor location to this location you mean like this maybe location yeah we'll try that He's not even moving. No, our character is moving. But you know why? Okay. No. No, 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 It's going here and... Which is good. It's going somewhere. We can use it. There are other ways. I, I uh, could do it much easier, but I'm too tired to think. for the support once again feel free to follow me on the youtube channel i really appreciate your support and effort and wish you all the best good luck hope to see you around accent join development but it is struggle I need that break so badly so coming back in a few minutes to wrap things up but it was almost it see you soon